Welcome to episode 17 of the Cosmere Reads. Woo! Yeah. We went along with uh, into book number two of the Mistborn Era 1 trilogy. Uh, welcome, everyone. Quick announcements real fast before we get into anything else. Uh, I do want to kind of give a few announcements. So tomorrow night, I myself will be on the Will and Chill show with Critter XD, uh, Tav- Taviran, and, um, and uh, um, Winespring. So I think all of them are going to be there. So, um, yeah, um, we're going to be talking about Will of Time show stuff. But um, I'm going to be there tomorrow night. And then we're, we'll read we're recording on Tuesday night. Fingers crossed. Um, pending. No one has any emergencies. <laughs> I do have to get out of off my chest right now. I do apologize for a lack of release on both the Cosmere Reads and the Will Reads last week. I started a new job. Um, I'm not going to get too much into that on, on, on stream. But um, I, I'm up to my eyeballs in training. And um, I've just been, yeah, I'm, I'm getting there. I'm going through a, a season in life. But they didn't offer you those new 27 hour days. Come on now. Yeah, the 27 hour. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> that's a that's a bit of yeah. Um, but other than that, yeah, everything else is good. Um, just been uh, yeah busy trying to uh, keep everything going <laughs> and and reading books, lots of books, uh, both. Cosmere and Will Time. So uh, we also do have a guest tonight. So uh, all the way, uh, I, I do have to give so much kudos and so much uh, praise to Epa for joining us all the way from Finland because um, it is really late or really early, depending on which way you want to look at it for him. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's in that in-between transition zone. You could you could go to sleep early, wake up early for this, or just stay up. Uh, that's up to yeah, you. But, uh, 3, 4 p.m., so... Uh... Three, 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 yeah, I don't know what else I would be doing at this hour anyway, so I might as well be here. Yeah, there you go. He's in that magic hour where you make bad decisions. Basically. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> well, you're 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 all with us. I don't know how many bad decisions you can make. I mean, I'm drinking a bourbon and ginger, so it's a uh, you know. It's, oh, that's a bad decision maker that's already, right? Decision maker. <laughs> Let's get started. Mm. This is my mystery uh, cup. Mm-hmm. Oh, I like a mystery cover. cup. Oh, you don't there know. You know. Could be good, it, could it, be bad. And the cocktail, <laughs> the cocktail tonight, uh, Alondo, is mm, mm. as you take a sip. <laughs> oh man, this is this is special. All right, it's a iced tea infusion with peach and lemon with mm. a orange tangere twist. Damn. Damn. Yeah. Wow. Okay. And it is amazing it's a summertime drink <laughs> love it so much sounds sounds summery yeah yeah Definitely not telling you what's in my mystery cup then yeah <laughs> <laughs> i hope your mystery cup is just a, a, a like 12 ounces it's of amazing average. it's a fresco with a little bit of vodka it's beautiful <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Hey, by the way you know what goes great with fresca my wife taught me this tequila whoa mm. what okay it's the weirdest thing she she gave it to me the first time and i was like no nah, this is not gonna work it works it's like it's like that scene in Anchorman where like hundred percent of the time it works sixty percent of the time or whatever they say. It's yeah. that good. It knocks it out the park. I'm like, this is really really good. So noted. Okay. We drink a lot of Fresco, so we'll we be trying that too. <laughs> Our house is chock full of the stuff. So. My, my, okay. fa- my favorite Fresca memory. There actually is one. Uh, Ian, my co-host in the Will Reads. Mm-hmm. Um, we went to high school together and I think it was 11th grade English class. Our teacher's name was Miss, Miss Radeska. And when she introduced herself, she's like, you know, the great thing about having this last name, it's hard to pronounce or it's hard to say, but uh, it doesn't rhyme with anything. And Ian goes immediately like, Miss Radeska drinks Fresca. <laughs> Don't give a teenage kid a challenge. <laughs> It's like like nothing. Yes, it does. If I've learned anything from wheel races, you should never get Ian a chance to do anything like that. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Yeah, exactly. Good times. Um, so yeah, um, thank you for joining us, Eva. Um, yes, thank you, thank Will you. and Alanda, for coming back all these weeks after weeks, uh, and keep on doing this because this is fun. Um, it, I wouldn't keep coming back if it wasn't for the bribes, so I appreciate the bribes. Thank <laughs> you, <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. yep, 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 yep. Um, <laughs> hey, by the way, Eva, so this is the thing I was going to share, but yes, right, Will, I gotta make sure I keep that on the download. You yeah. know, yeah. Um, <laughs> so I will be in Finland in October. In oh, oh, I'm Finland. sorry to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> so that is our anniversary trip we are hitting scandinavia and then we're popping over to finland uh for like three or four days so just uh put that out there so yeah uh, uh we'll be in helsinki uh so okay. Okay. If, okay, if if it works out and you're able to uh <laughs> catch up 
go grab a drink and a pop. <laughs> no, well, I guess, I guess I don't know my first schedule at all. And I work through weekends and whatever, so can't promise anything, but who knows? Who knows? Yeah, hey, who knows? If it yeah. works, it works. If it doesn't, no problem. Doesn't. <laughs> and the other thing to mention is congratulations to the Spanish uh, women's team won the World Cup, Women's World Cup okay, this morning. Yeah. So congratulations to them. That's the reason why I'm wearing the uh, the Spanish uh, jersey. So yeah. Okay. They beat there England, right? They sure did. They beat England uh, 2-0. And uh, I thought for a second because they won, they got a penalty kick in there. But, uh, yeah, they, they deserve the win. Yeah, Congratulations yeah. to them. Awesome. Yeah, congrats. Right. Cool. Yay, sports. I didn't watch it. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Yay, sport. Yay, sport ball. <laughs> Yay, sport ball. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I didn't watch any uh, any any sports at all this weekend. I was I was uh, we went to Cape Charles yesterday to the beach, and then uh, today mm-hmm. went on my dad's boat and just drove around. And so I was very much in the sun all weekend long. Um, but um, yeah, I don't I don't show because I have pasty. And I was going to say you should be about as red as my jersey right now. If you're uh, you know, I, I I stay in shade when I'm on the beach. Like I put my big cabana tent up, and I, oh, uh, no. I stay lots of sunscreen. And, yeah, lots you, of sunscreen. you stay I white with that sunscreen. It up, and I have I this giant <laughs> straw hat I wear to keep the sun off me. Because when I was younger, I burned so easily. Like I'm just uh-huh. terrified now to get burned. So I just like put so some you, sunscreen so on. So you and, put like, on the albino armor. Yeah, albino <laughs> like, armor. And I hide from the sun the entire you time. You do what you're like technically supposed to do. What's but to nobody do? Else yeah. does. Exactly. <laughs> I went to yeah, a uh, concert Friday night in Baltimore on the, nice. on the harbor, which was pretty oh, cool, nice. really pretty. Oh, the harbor, yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then we went to a seafood festival yesterday in Annapolis, awesome. which was first time there. Yeah, we did we did a crab soup tasting. So we paid 15 bucks and went to this mm. tent. They had like 30 different crab soups you got to try. Ooh, nice. yeah, there was no limits. We kept going back and eating more and more and more. And just like, Is that your first time in Naptown, one- you said? No, first time at this festival is festival, probably okay, my awesome. third or fourth time in Annapolis since we moved yeah. up here. But um, really cool, uh, really cool town. Annapolis I, is I, really uh, cool. No, yeah, Southport is a lot of fun. It gets a little seedy at night, but it's a lot of fun over there. Good bars. And downtown's fun too. But yeah. Yeah, you, you need know, to come man. up here. You guys come up here sometime. <laughs> yeah, I would have come up if I heard about a, 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 a crab soup <laughs> festival. So, so, okay, in our defense, we didn't find out about it till a week before uh, it happened. Right. So sure. I'll let you guys know next year. There's also yeah. a crab cake festival in October in okay. Westminster. Mm. If you guys want to come up gotcha. to that. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, obviously, it's not that long a drive. You know, no, to hop up that way. So, yeah, definitely well, drop, us, yeah. drop us a note. Okay. I know. I love you. Annapolis. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, good ch- chicken, chicken roots you right there chicken roots no that's a it's a hole in the wall breakfast spot that has the best breakfast in the entire like hands down like it's it's literally a hole in the wall like it's it was on uh diners drive-ins and dives uh the oh do you know i'm there Fieri. i gotta be there yeah guy yeah. fieri big fan Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, you're a big fan. But it, it was it was featured on that. But also, I mean, it is a dive. I mean, it's a little hole in the wall, but it's delicious food. Nice. Okay. okay. Anyway. Chick- so cool. Chicken roots sounds like a uh, voodoo spot. You know, it's like I'm gonna put the chicken roots on. Chicken you. roots. <laughs> <laughs> when I heard chicken root, I thought about like the talon they fried up the foot or something like no, that. Ruth. So, oh roots. yeah, yeah. Chick- yeah. It's chicken popular roots. In Chinese cuisine. Yeah. They'll, they'll chicken do that with some and roots. Yeah. yeah, I guess uh, the two person chick and Ruth. Like Ruth name, but yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, completely different than what I was thinking. Uh, yeah, it's still good. Uh, go check it out. It's right there downtown. Yeah, I kind of like chicken roots. That's uh, chicken roots is good too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah just see. You remember it when you hear it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> chicken yeah. roots. <laughs> Hard to forget. Hard to forget. That's anyway, right. you guys, you guys forget. ready to jump right into chapter four? C, 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 C. Before we get going any further, I will get to say that uh, we gave a raffle last week, and we'll get into it later in this episode. But uh, you know, Will said, "What do you think? Like Condra can be like birds?" And all we all just sit there and looked at Raffo. <laughs> yes, I get that now. Yes, now. <laughs> and by the way, call back, uh, Alan. You were gonna find out where we're at on this bingo situation how far are we, I was, we, we, we have we have not uh, i did go look through it um we okay not got a b- bingo yet um i didn't i was gonna do a visual but i just didn't have time um to, to actually i wrote see down some notes going. i think we're getting close to a bingo yeah you're <laughs> close a couple after. places but there's a couple hard yeah. ones in each each diagonal scroll oh, okay that, that, gotcha, that's, gotcha. Uh, that's not oh. quite there yet but you're gonna, that, you're yeah, that's close. fine that's fine good all right yeah so cool. anyway uh, I'll have to pull it up for next time. Uh, I'll, I'll be more prepared. Like I said, I was out of town most this weekend, and this week's been a crazy mess. Um, so, chapter four. Um, 
before we get to any of that crazy Contra stuff, we're with Says. And we all love Sazed. So it's good to see him back again. Book number yes. two. Um, so yeah. yeah, so good to see Sazed. And it's a short chapter, but it really, really, I thought was a, well, there's a lot of implications here. Uh, but there's also, just, I guess, really, really just gets more into Sazed's character, like what he's doing, where he's at. Um, he's in the Eastern Dominance. Um, so I, I know, Will, you're or not Will, uh, a lot of you're an audiobook reader, so you don't get all the cool maps. I don't have the map, yes. But there is there is maps in the beginning of the books that actually show, like, you know, that you have Luthadel in the middle, and then you have, you know, the Western Dominance, Southern, Eastern, okay. and yeah, and Northern, Northern, Southern, Eastern, Western, yeah. So, um, he's in the East. And there's also the Terrace Dominance. Yeah. Well, the terrace, the terrace is all the way, yeah, Wait, very top. Where, where's yeah, the north. terrace? Dominance? Yeah, terrace dominance is very, very north. There so I thought, so okay, since okay, we're since we're that. talking about this, I was like, okay, where did they say he is? It said he's in the eastern dominance. So, like for visual reference, it's I can south. Get it to show. Oh, unfortunately, yeah, yeah you're blurry. Right, so here, okay, the uh, there we go. Uh, let's okay. see if we can get it right. So here's That's Luthadel. Eastern. There's Luthadel. Okay. This is this is eastern right here. Yep. Oh, okay. And terrace, the terrace all the is all the way up there. Yeah. So Luthadel is like right dead center. Yeah, yep, yep, yeah, yep. central dominance. Yeah, right in the oh, middle. Okay. I didn't know it was like right dead center the whole thing. Okay. Yeah. So I, I thought I thought Sazed was going north to yeah. the terrace dominance. We found That's out that, doc, that out. docks went there. We we got that later. But yeah, but okay. but um but yeah, no, Sazed is actually uh doing what Kelsier had commanded him to do. Um so it gets into a little bit here, but he's going out to try to spread religion and, and things like that and trying to talk to the more outskirts people and and do what a keeper's supposed to do now that the Lord Ruler's gone. Um, you know, right. that was, just, that was his whole thing. Share his knowledge yes. with the world. Absolutely. So that, and that's yeah. why he's traveling out. I mean, obviously I think he would love to go back home and share his knowledge up there too, but he's trying to, I guess, do what his job is as a keeper. That's right. Um and so he's there and, and he's inspecting a body. That's, I mean, we start out with this body and there's no signs of like physical trauma besides it's like twisted and like all like, I don't, I, you know, all messed up, uh, but not like nothing's broken, no wounds, just like an agony and like almost like his muscles all like, froze. you know, like froze up. And you get like, said his uh, pain you, was his face was stuck. Like it was in pain. Anguish. It just froze. Yeah. 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 Um and, and you get uh and I guess you get his name was was it Jed? Jed. Yeah. Jed. Jed. Yeah, Jed. Jed. Yeah, Jed. And he was just a farmer up there. Um just and, a and, good old boy. <laughs> and, and he starts talking to another witness that said, like, yeah, he was just in broad daylight. He was just doing farming. All of a sudden the mist came around him and like attacked him. And the mist only comes out at night. So Right, big, big question mark here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, what is going on? Who's the guy who directed the movie uh, Signs? M Night Shyamalan. Yeah, I got M Night Shyamalan vibes when I, when I heard that. Okay, yeah. I got, I got two things I got to share. All right, number one, <laughs> I thought about the ring. You know, when the girl gets like, when every time the the lady oh, from yeah, the yeah, ring yeah. comes out, there's like, you know, they show her like in the closet. Yeah. Like, ah, like that. <laughs> <laughs> I thought the dude looked like that. And number two, all I could think of the whole time I heard this, it's still the song that came out back in like as like the early two thousands by Bone Crusher. It's called Never Scared. And there's this line where he says like, like hope for the best, but I don't think he's gonna make it. Not the way he was shaking and shivering on the pavement. Oh my and god! All I could think oh. of was this guy just shivering and shaking. I was like, oh no. Oh. <laughs> anyway, yeah. those are the vibes I got from reading this stuff. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was yeah. it was like a brutal a brutal death. Brutal death. I mean, brutal brutal death. Death. and it was just out of nowhere. He was just a good old guy. He kept working, even though when all the lords left, they were like, you know, all the all the nobility left. They were like, oh well, we're gonna stop working. He just kept going because he's like, well, this is what I do. Food, food's gonna be necessary. Yep. Just going tilling this land and doing this work, and all of a sudden, boom, boom. missed dead. Yeah, yeah, rough. All right. Ipa, do you have any questions for the middle of this? Um, without spoiling anything, but uh... <laughs> uh, well, not on this, maybe yet. I mean, obviously, okay. what, yeah. how do you feel about the fact that they are saying that the mists are coming during the day now? That Ooh. part, man, I'm mind blown because we have been trained up until now to think of the mist as being like a nighttime thing. And, and not so and now, being, being inert and not even that big of a deal. 
Like just like right. that's like, it's fairy yeah, tales. Everyone's scared of it, but we haven't really been shown evidence of the fact that it's actually deadly or dangerous. Mm-hmm. It's just more like an uh, an ethos or a myth. Yeah. Now it has been tangible how deadly this mist like, can be. It formed an elementor in front of Vin last chapter, or you know something that was pulsing. I, I say elementor, right, but right. it had elementic pulses, right. uh, like a figure, and then disappeared. And then um, now it's attack someone. Now we're in the Eastern Dominance, which is outside of Luthadel. So I'm right. wondering, is it a totally different beast further away from the main city, right? Mm. Less protection. Oh, oh, that's a good point. So, so you're thinking yeah. it might be like location based. I'm thinking like Luthadel is like kind of the safe haven, I think. Okay. Like to put it very loosely, mm-hmm. the further you go away from that, I think the more free reign that maybe the mist can have mm-hmm. is what, what I'm thinking. I don't know, but... What they I mean, did out there was like sure. something we haven't seen before. Like it showed up, like Alan said, in front of Ven, and it it left. So now that the Lord Ruler's dead, like maybe it's gaining a little more confidence. But yeah, oh, <clears throat> I don't so know. it was held at bay, which could be the May, thing that the Lord the Ruler was entity. warning about when he said, "You know, there's a bunch Ooh. of stuff I've been kind of keeping, Ooh. you know, y'all safe from." <laughs> up until now. You guys are screwed been by killing the whole me. Time? <laughs> Oh man, that's good. Will you you, you added that second part, which I hadn't thought no. about. So now we're like Will, now we're our cooking. powers combined. Dude, we got a rest of planet right now. We just come together. We're making a full on entree dinner right now. <laughs> ah, there it is. Love what do you think, Ipa? What are we doing? How are we doing? Are you are we idiots or are we onto something? Ipa's like, no. Um, no, no. Good question, Rafa. Raffo, Raffo, of course, yeah. <laughs> um, Maybe we used to get out of jail free car. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Raffo. Have a Raffo, um, my friend. Yeah, have uh-huh. a Raffo. Uh, read and find out. Um, so yeah, so Caesar also starts to go through his copper mind, try to figure out the cause of death. You know, do his fear Kimmy thing. Um, and can't really figure anything out from it. You know, pretty much just says I must have been a disease. You know, uh, it rolls out pretty much everything else. Like, it, you know, that wasn't like a heart attack. It wasn't like he rules out all the normal things. And it's like, I guess it was some weird disease that right. I don't know about. That's not in my cover mind. Um, those things do happen. Uh, COVID-19. <laughs> oh, man. Too soon. Too soon. Too soon. Too soon. Oh, yeah. Okay, really. SARS. Um, yeah. All right, MERS. Uh, you know, all right. <laughs> if, you, if you had to explain tarot to someone who knows about like Alamancy, how would you do it? Based on what you now know, if I had to explain ferrochemy versus allomancy, um, well, so Alam- ferrochemy as like what it is, how it works. I so, guess what I'm trying to ask is like how well do you guys understand it right now? Uh, so I feel like ferrochemy is basically the idea of charging a lithium battery with capabilities, but it's in metal that is attached to you. So you can kind of like you know charge it up. You know you can like you know store energy uh, i want to say energy capabilities mm-hmm. into this metal that's attached to you which is why you know there's like the earrings or we're talking about the uh, the, 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 the armlets or wrist anything anything that touches your skin and so you can store it up and then repurpose it later whereas allomancy it's like ingest the metal burn it but the moment that you have exhausted it that's all she wrote you're done. There's no storing it for later or whatever. Once you burned it, you burned it. That's my interpretation. Will, please go ahead. So, like, going off what you said, burning versus storing. So, one, you're ingesting. The other, you're wearing, as far as I know, as mm-hmm. far as I've been able to comprehend with my will brain. Um but yeah, the charging with the lithium battery made me think also like if you guys know how like magnetization works, mm-hmm. kind of similar. Like I don't know, you're you're putting something into the metal to use at a later point in time. Right. Mm-hmm. Whereas allomancy, you're using the metal kind of like you're using wood in a fire and you're burning it and getting the energy from it to yeah. use at that time, point in time. And, and, and at this point, they've learned that different metals do different things for fear of chemistry too. I mean, you have copper mine. So copper does like the memories and things like that. Pewter mine for strength. Um, Cause they've, they've mentioned those things in the book, right? So yeah, far. Ten, like it pew- was a 10 mind, uh, pewter mind, pewter, pewter mind for strength. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. How'd we do? Yeah. How'd we do Eva? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. For now it's good. I mean, you will learn 
a lot more. One more. <laughs> so we, based on the stuff that they, these hints they've been dropping, I know there's a lot more going on because we're still starting to tiptoe mm. into alloys mm. just yeah. a little bit. And I feel like we're just hitting like the 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 the, the, the bare system. minimum of information <laughs> that is going to become a swell of information later. Yeah. 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 Yeah, that, so, this is like Alamance is cool and all, but I think Ferrochemy like is even like well cooler system. Like it, it has so right. many like things that it can do. It's crazy. You'll you'll see. Season. What it is. You'll see. <laughs> I mean, cons considering the fact that the Lord Ruler used Ferrochemy to rule for a thousand years, yeah, I believe you're right, Eva. <laughs> right. Yeah. 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 Um, so says it actually starts performing a funeral rite because he picks one of those random religions, uh, the Hada, uh, is what's called. Um, and you know, pretty much a couple of the villagers, I guess, come to look at it, but they don't really care about this religion that that says it's given out. So says it by himself, just says, Well, I got a little Peter left, so I guess I'll start burying him myself. Yeah. Um, and starts digging the grave by himself, and eventually, some of the villagers come and help. Um, you know, and uh, you know, he stays in the village because he wants to teach them to be self sufficient and also teach them as what their ways. And even though they're very, very skeptical and not really, I think, into the whole religious aspect of it, just more of like, oh, you're here to help, cool. Yeah, yeah. And they're asking questions about when is the Lord Ruler going to come back? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm yeah. like, what? What? You really think that he's not done? You really think he's going to just? pop up again although i still continue to say i'm gonna you know I, my last theory in the last book was that kelch was gonna die and i kept saying that because i was like he's too cavalier yeah my theory in this book them armlets that the lord ruler is wearing that rolled around and disappeared and were not accounted for they're gonna come back they're gonna come back and they're gonna cause a problem that's my theory theory time theory time yeah. okay theory time <laughs> Put that in the bag of antlers for later. <laughs> will. Yes, Will. Will. <laughs> What'd you say, Ipa? Sorry. Yeah, you, you think someone would, able to be, uh, someone would be able to use those bracers? They were, after all, made by Lord Hoover. So no. it's been emphasized a little too much about how in Ferrochemy, um, only the person who has stored the capability in the metal can use the metal uh, use the ability and I feel like it keeps coming back over and over again but I feel like there's going to be a point in time someone's going to figure out a workaround for that and now if this Lord Ruler had all these capabilities stored up over a thousand years imagine what that kind of power is in these two bracelets or the armlets I'm going to call it whatever that he had on him and those things is basically just roll off into the wilderness, off the tower, whatever. And we don't know what happened to those. I just feel like that's dangerous. And I feel like there's a possibility it might come back and bite somebody. And when I say somebody, I mean the entire world. Okay. That's my theory. That's my theory. Short answer for me is uh, Sazed, maybe Sazed could use them because he's already, I mean, he's mm. a ferrochemist and he's already wearing those bracers, mm. right? Ooh, that would um, be so, and I, yeah, I hope that that happens too because I love Sazed. <laughs> I will, yes. Um, yeah, that's an interesting question though. Yeah. I hope they do get used. Yeah. Yeah. By Sazed yeah, specifically, yes. Alondo also, Pythos is here, so you have to put your drink in chat. Just, I'm not gonna, say, you don't have to say it again. Just, just, just gotta put it in there. Oh, uh, okay, got it, got it. I'll, <laughs> yeah, just, just, just put it yeah, in chat. We didn't ask um, people what he was drinking. Yeah, yeah I just, um, uh, yeah, you good old hard ball wishing, good old water and carbon dioxide. So, oh, yeah, carbonated water, Sparkling yeah. water, love it. Nice. Yeah, nice. Very that's a really cool can, though. Like, clean, looks mm. good. Yeah, it, it looks is, a little uh, royal. Yeah, it looks, yeah, looks, yeah uh, it's, uh, it's this is. Ooh, sponsored by Hartwell, by the way, totally. Uh, it's uh, it's an old Finnish like brewery. They have made this like well longer than I've been alive, so it's always looked like this yeah. as far as I know. Good deal. Vite brought to you by Finland. Bone Brothers brought to you by Alan getting drunk. Um, so, uh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, um, yeah. So that's why in this chapter, him digging the grave, and then everybody's like, you know, when's the Lord Ruler coming back? 
Um, and we pretty much, he's like, I have all this, these religions, like it thinks they do things like keepers spent thousands of years gathering, you know, all these dying religions. And then they're all just like, Oh, when's the Lord back? <laughs> um, yeah. So, so just one more thing on that, like that I picked sure. up on something here, which was like these people out during the Eastern dominance, um, mm -hmm lack of hope i mean lord ruler's dead it, and mm -hmm. they seem very kind of lost they're like looking for like well what do we do now lord ruler's dead right it was kind of sad it was a sad they didn't want to bury yeah. their uh their fellow you know village or whatever you want to call it um right so yeah. the, i think there's more on that later but sure yeah and, and you get that feel i mean that's that's pretty common when you have like uh, we, we've talked about when you have a vacuum of power when things go away people just keep on doing what they're doing a lot of times uh or they'll turn into themselves you know turn not on themselves but inward and um and, and yeah um get really depressed because even if it's bad it's what they know and yeah and also it was the safety for them even yeah, though the system was yeah. awful, like it still provided them with something, and now that something is gone. Right. So it's like, what do we do? Where do we go? Yeah. Need that mm -hmm. guiding light. Yeah. 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 Anyways, yeah. Okay. So um, that's what we end this chapter. Anything more before we move into chapter five, which is a little bit longer, a lot more going on? Yeah, that um, first chapter was short. It was man. very I was, short. I was, I was shocked how short it was. Yeah, yeah, it's a very short chapter. Mm -hmm. Um. But yeah. Um, anything else we missed or any questions? I just thought it was interesting that he brought back the religion that um, related most to their village or their whatever you mm -hmm. call it. And he pulled off a <clears throat> branch from the tree and mm -hmm. stuck it into the hole where the guy was laying, where they were going to bury him right. mm -hmm. long enough to where when they filled in with dirt, the stick was still sticking out and almost right. like a gravestone. Right. Right. And right. everybody was looking around. And at that point they were like, hold on, why'd you do that? And that was like a glimpse of them being like, oh, we're going to focus, instead of going inward, we're going to look outward now because like it's like right. you just buried our friend. There's a stick sticking out. Why'd you do that? And he explained like, this is a religion of your ancestors. Like mm -hmm. you may be able to talk to some of your you know, distant relatives and like learn about this. I'm happy to teach you if you want. But mm -hmm. it was like Sazed coming in saying like, it's almost as if Sazed knows there's going to be a loss of hope with the death of the Lord Ruler. Sure. And he is going around kind of doing the act of like a disciple, you know? Yeah. Um, so it was cool. But very short chapter, a lot more to come. So, yeah. yeah. Now, was that, that the moment, by the way, Will, correct me if I'm wrong, that they actually started helping him with the actual yes. movement yes. of the dirt? Yes. It was yeah, after that's... that moment, right? Yep. Yeah. Because yeah. up until then, they had been watching him just like, you know, just dig the grave. Yeah. Rubber yeah. Dickers, just like, you know, hey, what, what, what you doing? Well, I don't think they, they, they dug grave. So they're just kind of confused what he's doing. Yeah. They didn't know like, what he was doing. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Great point, Will. I appreciate you bringing that up because that was mm -hmm. the moment it flipped and then he started helping him. So mm -hmm. it's a super yeah. short chapter, but it has my boy says it in there. So I, he's going to come back, dude. He's going to be a pivotal role. I'm telling you. <laughs> yep. That dude's never going away. Oh, he's man. Love that away. guy. All right. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's it for me on that chapter, though. All right. So chapter five, we start with another one of those little, like, what do you call it, epigraphs or little starts. Every chapter starts with these little things. And this one's really short, so I wanted to read it. Okay. Um, and I am the one who betrayed Alindy. Uh, for now I know that he must never be allowed to complete his quest. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> who's Alindy? Yeah, who's Alindy? Hmm. Mm. Uh, a champion free diver um, that yeah. actually uh, <laughs> competed in the Olympics in 1926 and 1930. Um, <laughs> by the way, the Olympics didn't happen those two years, so don't <laughs> at me. They actually occurred in 1928 and 1932. But anyway, that's not here nor there. Yeah, he's an Olympic <laughs> yeah. free diver. Is free diving even a competition? In no. Everything, yeah. I make, come on, everything I say is BS, man. I, come on. It was good. That was good. It 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 was great at improv. You give me a yeah. moment. That was great. <laughs> Fantastic. All right. Thank you. So, but anyway, so yeah, we don't know who Lindy is. Um, I guess you can use context clues and try to assume who it is. But yeah, he, he can't he can't complete his quest. I know now. He must be he must be stopped. Yeah. 
but yeah so um well we might have got a context clue for the from the previous one i didn't read the previous one um no i just said oh no it does uh, perhaps they are right perhaps i was uh perhaps i'm mad or jealous or simply daft my name is kwan philosopher scholar trader um i am the one who discovered Lindy. i am the one who proclaimed him the hero of ages i am the one who started this all so that was before chapter four and then he says i am the one who betrayed Lindy. i know now he must never be allowed to complete his quest so. so I'm going to tell you, I'm going to do the same thing this book that I did last book. I'm going to get to about chapter 10, and I'm going to go back and read them all, like, in sequence. In sequence? And it's going to, it's going to, like, it's going to completely just, like, click, because that's yeah. how I figured it out last time. I mean, yeah. reading them piecemeal like this, it's just, like, impossible. It's, it's like, yeah. it's, it's too disparate and all over the place. But, I mean, they when you are, read, like... I will say, like, all these little snippets are great on a reread. Because you're like, oh, wow. Oh, they're <laughs> exceptional on the Because after we finished the last book, I went yeah. along the nerd style and listened to all of them in sequence across yeah. all the chapters. And it's a crazy good short story <laughs> yeah. by itself, by itself you know, yeah. in, in isolation. And I feel like the same thing is going to happen in this book. So, okay. again, around chapter 10, I'm going to probably go back, listen to them all, see if I can, like, you know, get the context clues and figure it out. But then the plan is, again, to when we finish the book, go back and listen to them all in sequence and okay. get a nice little extra story that I didn't realize I had been reading the whole time. I've never done that before, but I might actually try it. <laughs> Eva, have you ever done that, gone through and just read the... Um, well, not quite like that, but there has been times when I have just gone to Wiki and just read the whole thing through. Just oh, yeah, yeah. Curiosity yeah. Whatever yeah. reason. Yeah, they are... There's so much info there that you just have no idea what it means right. until you know. And then you're like, oh, shit, was right here this whole time. Yeah, there, yeah. See, there, he, he's got it. Yeah. Yep. He, he, yeah. he confirmed exactly what I was saying. Yep. Yep. Yeah. So um, let's see what we got here. And, and also, uh, you don't see this either, but every single chapter title, you, you might want to buy the books just because it's really cool. Every single one has these symbols in front of the book. And no. they're different. They're different metal symbols, which has nothing really. I, I, I've never been able to connect whether or not they have anything to do with the chapter. But oh wow! <laughs> Maybe oh. can correct me. But they could be like alloys or something. We don't know. They, no, they are. They, I mean, in the back it has a little little thing that tells you, like a little um, what tells you what the symbols mean. Okay. Like so, this one's I, zinc. But. I might misremember, but I think it's they're also used like as numbers. Like I think it still uses numbers. Okay. I think I might be wrong on this, but I think what's going on is that like the. 10 symbols, the 10 metals we have in the first place. It's one, two, three, four. Okay, got it. They base sense. metals and golden atom. They will use those symbols as numbers also. Oh. But I oh. might misremember. One, two, three, right? four. Yeah, yeah, six number, six number five, and we're in the fifth chapter. Yeah, so that makes sense. Okay, cool. Oh, yeah. okay. Gotcha. I, All right. I, I also noticed when I was looking at the map, trying to figure out where Sazed was in this last chapter, I was assuming, hey, if I look at the map, there's going to be a north, south, east, west. Of course, no. no. North and southeast, west is all the symbols, like you said. So I was like, mm -hmm. okay, well, I can't do anything with that because I, I don't, I don't know. Um, yeah, north is ten, I know that much, and then uh, east is zinc, I think. But yeah, why? Zinc. Okay, why? I, I, I why? Don't, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that brings up a whole conversation. Wait. Notice he said why, not Raffo. <laughs> oh, <laughs> interesting. <laughs> <laughs> no, I want to know now. I don't want to read. That's right. That's right. <laughs> yeah, it says say Northwest. Yeah, it just has a. Yeah. Will's uh, like, I need one. instant gratification, please. Dude, it was like. So, oh, chapter wait, five, wait. chapter zinc. All right. Uh, chapter zinc. Okay. <laughs> chapter zinc. <laughs> Vin could see signs of anxiety, anxiety reflect in the city. Yeah. So, we start um, with Vin as she's walking through the streets of Luthadel. Um, and. Just reflecting on the bustle of the market um, and, and everything like that. And she's just having a normal stroll. Also thinking about her life as a nobleman or no woman now and just how much her life's changed in the last year and a half or whatever. And, yeah. and she's having this little reflection moment. And then everything is turned on its head really fast for Vin um, because we learn about a new religion. I think this is the first time we ever heard of this new religion. Well, we got some hints about it. We hit, it hints it was for me, but now we have priests. Now obviously. you have like, yeah, it's like a whole thing now. It's a whole right? thing now. Yeah. yeah. The Church of the Survivor. 
Yep, church is and the lady air. It's the lady yeah. air, and then the next thing you know, babies are being pushed her, touching the same hand you slayed the Lord. Well, first she was getting, <laughs> first she thought like someone was tailing her, right? Terribly, mm-hmm. <laughs> like he wasn't tailing her well. He was just yeah. like you know, like you know, fumbly spy, and then you know, other people like join him tailing her. And then mm-hmm. you're like, okay, well, this is not like an attack, like someone trying to assassinate her. And you're like, yeah, you kind of let your guard down. Uh, and then it's like, you know, the the, the <laughs> it, it's almost like the Branch Davidians basically like following her now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And, <laughs> what, what do you think about the Church of the Survivor? Like, the actual- <laughs> we knew it was coming. I mean, because that's kind of what Kelsier set up the whole time. He yeah. set up this idea of him being like this, like, new god, uber, uber. Yeah. I'm gonna say Uber Mensch. Uh, I'm gonna go yeah. ahead and put it out there. I, I'm gonna, you know, Finn wants nothing to do with this though. <laughs> oh heck no! <laughs> Plus, she is regarded as the new. Uh, well, I can't remember what the term was they used um, to describe her as being like the new. Uh, the lady the new, air was what they called her, but um, uh, I thought I felt the there was another heir term. To the survivor. The heir to the, the, heir to the survivor. Yeah. They, they, okay, thank you. So it was like. Basically, a, con- a conflation of the two things. He's the head of the um, church. Yep, <laughs> <laughs> head of the church because she killed the Lord Ruler, so right. she has to be the heir to the survivor, right? I mean, mm-hmm. because the Lord Ruler killed Kelsier, who was the head of this new religion, and now she killed him, so that makes her the heir. It makes all perfect sense, I guess, in God religion yeah. terms. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's rough. That's a that's a big load to bear as a young lady. Yeah, you know to be re- to to be regarded in that way. She's still trying to figure her own ish out. She's trying to figure out who she is. I mean, she even talks about that. She says, you know, like Valette was useless now to Ellen. I need to be a misborn now. He's mis- misborn. He doesn't need Valette. He needs Van. Like, right. He he's tr- there. Are assassins coming in. We have an army outside the walls. Like yes, Valette's dead. Finn's here. Let's let's, right. let's and, and, but at the same time, she's trying to figure out, you know, where she fits in. I mean, def- definitely she likes the luxury, even though she's it's this duality where she's she enjoys the perks of it, but kind of is disgusted by it at the same time, which I think a lot of people get to this point, especially new to money and things like that. Like uh, mm-hmm. you know, where if you came from your roots, you still respect your roots, you still want to go back to those, but you can't. It's right. it's that weird spot to be in. And she has so much conflict about the idea of money because before she was spending Kelsier's money, now it's she mentions money. this. If she spends money now, because she was looking at these gowns, it's the kingdom's money, yeah, it's, it's the kingdom's Ellen's money. money. She's like, yeah. it's Ellen's money, but Ellen's money is the kingdom's money. Money, yeah. yeah. So it's like this like weird um, right. uh, reaction to spending money or using money, right? Yeah, poor thing. She was she was reflecting on how she when she was in this situation, walking through the streets in the past. She mm-hmm. was in the corners with her hood up, creeping around mm-hmm. like a ska. Creep, now creep. she's walking around confidently, nudging people to the side, like you know, I'm not ashamed of anything. And all of a sudden, she gets these people following her, and she goes, "Oh fuck, I'm getting trailed. I gotta like hide." And then she realized, no, this is just like this is the followers. We learn about the. The religion that's now built around her and she's like damn it like <laughs> yeah. yeah i don't, I don't want, want this, this. Yeah. she's got so many things going on poor thing yeah and yeah. again she's like a welcome an attack rather than just people following her mm-hmm. right it's a good thing but it's also to her she's almost like i kind of miss not being famous and being less known and being the, able right. to fly under the radar which, how many celebrities have you like watched YouTube videos of, and they've said the same things? They're like, they miss walking through a grocery store or a yeah. mall or whatever, without being like harassed and harangued because sure. they just have the status of being like somebody who is somebody. And that's why um, a lot of them try to disguise themselves when they go out of public, right? Or like be. fake mustaches and all kinds of stuff. Yeah, low like, low hats, sunglasses, sunglasses low yeah, hats. Just, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. But it's because they just they just want to feel like just a common everyday person mm-hmm. and not have someone, you know, like revere a camera, them a camera in, in such a face. crazy way. So I get yeah. that. Poor yeah. thing. I like the fact, by the way, and I continue to always go back to Sanderson's writing. 
he does such an incredible job of not letting you forget the stakes here. He hits you all the time that there is an army at the gates. Yeah. You never get an opportunity to be thinking about, oh, okay, well, we can just relax and whatever. Mm -hmm. Everything's going good. He always just put these subtle things every so often, every yeah. so many pages. He's like, army at the gates, army at the army gates, at the gates. <laughs> army at the gates. I mean, so that way you're never really complacent about the fact that you could, this whole concept could blow this, up this victory, could, exactly. It could just <laughs> completely blow up in their faces any moment. And right. I love the fact that he does that in a very subtle way. It's it's so it's so well written, mm -hmm. but it's like it's it's always in the back of everyone's mind. Every character he brings up, it just keeps coming back. It's like there's this army, there's this army, there's this yeah. army, um, and I just think it's it's great. It's well written. I just want to make sure I put that note in there. About yeah, that. yeah, yeah. And then what do you think about like people coming out with babies? Like, I mean, it's I mean, obviously this is got more and more of this, but just. Vince is like, uh, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> Sign my baby. Sign my baby. Yeah. <laughs> so Vin eventually dismisses these people as like, I got business to do. I'm, I'm busy. Uh, you know, yeah. and doesn't really give them much of any answers or any time of day and just continues on to the animal market, um, which disclaimer right now, if you're an animal lover and, um, <laughs> Sorry, this might I not wrote a note be about this. The best scene. Tara, turn it off. <laughs> ben is obviously not a friend of PETA or the AFCCA. <laughs> not at all. Nope. Nope. I wrote yeah, that Tara hasn't specifically. read specifically. So my wife hasn't caught up with us. She's not yeah. tuning in tonight because she's been super busy this weekend and she hasn't read this. So I literally oh. just said that loud enough. Oh. So if she is watching. Turn it off because yeah, uh, big so, animal lover. Yeah, yeah big animal lover. Uh, <laughs> animal and this is the world. this is tough. I, 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 I've minutes. seen I've seen <laughs> some people that are live are, that are you know like on Twitter and they're reading through these books and they get to this seed and they're like, I hate Finn now. <laughs> like, oh, <laughs> like, no. because I mean, I've seen it. It's brutal. People, it was a yeah, curveball. It's, it's a yeah. curveball. Yeah. yeah. But she, she comes into this 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 animal and she's like, uh, I'm looking for a wolfhound. And the guy's like, a wolfhound? No, you got a really cute girl. one. Like no, a first he starts it with a pup, food. not even a yeah. wolfhound, just a puppy. Yeah. <laughs> a little, a little, little, a, little hey, little cute hey, puppy. Yeah. Hey, young lady. Here's a corgi. Here's a corgi. Here, hey, here's young a lady, you're not ready for real dogs and things. Here's a little thing that you could have that sits on your lap and yips all the time. Yeah. She's like, nah. She's like, nah, that's not what I want. She's like, I want a wolfhound. I was like, fine. Yep. She goes back and finds the most docile, Ooh, calmest man. wolfhound he can find. Here's the run yep. letter, but you know, he'll be good in good time. So, you know, yep, yep. this one. And she's Here's like, the Balto for you. And she's, and like, she's like, all right. And just pushes past. Past was like, I'm going back in the cage. She goes to the back and finds the biggest, baddest wolfhound in there. And things growling at her. In like the back, it's like, I want, it's like, I want, it's yes. like, I want that one. It's like, uh, miss that, that one is for like a guard dog like that's right. for like you keep on your grounds and like it tears that's a off. junkyard dog, dog. you yeah. know it <laughs> yes. yeah that's a yeah that's yeah that's that's not what you want and she immediately just opens the cage and goes in and the guy before you can even like he's just speechless yeah, huh? and she just casually walks into the dog and flares peter and boom oh, <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> just yeah. just fucking just I don't know if you remember that uh, that the whole nursery rhyme back in the day about the field mouse and bopping one head. That's all I thought yeah. of. With that <laughs> she like bops on the head, bopping yeah. on the head. And the I guy like just like says, the, uh, "The first dog, the first wolf hound that was offered to her, she thought it was too cute, and that's why she didn't pick that one." Yeah, yeah, she, yeah, yeah too she knows cute. too cute. She didn't want to, she didn't want to yeah. kill that one. <laughs> she <laughs> went to the biggest, big, biggest, meanest one. Just She's up like, like, "This like, is not Game of Thrones. I don't want <laughs> no. I don't want your cute little wolf hound puppies." I want that. I want that one sneering in the yeah. corner. Ah, well, <laughs> I don't want to. Yeah. We find out later, like why she why she did this, right? Oh, yeah. Which yeah, in yeah, the 100%. moment, and thank you for saying that, Will. <laughs> Will always with the insight. Thank mm. you. Um, because in that moment, I was like, "What? Wait, wait." She walked up to it, and I was like, "I thought she was gonna like do like the whole like try to like." Soothe it. The use dog use, use her metal to soothe it. Yeah. No, she just goes up and like. <laughs> I'm like, oh, damn. Okay. 
okay. You find out why, and it's like she had some internal thoughts about the purpose for this thing. She knew exactly what she was doing. I'm not we wasting my time. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Goes in there and says, "Here's your money. Give me a leash now." Get your and coin. He's like, a leash, it's dead. <laughs> like, and just like ties it, ties the legs up, throws it, it her up. Back. <laughs> and she's awesome. like, "You better not drool on my shirt." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, yeah. So, I don't care what anyone says about this animal. She's great. Yeah, she, she's great. Yeah, I don't care what anybody says. Vince great. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Vin is the best. I, I mean, look, look, look. It was. A, I'm going to say this. It's a different time. I'm going to. It's a different know, time. It's a different time. I'm going to just time. use that excuse right now. I don't know. Yeah, like back to like how she used to like sneak through the streets, and now she's walking through the streets, and she's getting like she's got a religion around her. Then she goes in and like does this. I was like, yo, she's acting like Kels here, going in killing a fucking dog like it's nothing, or a, a wolf like it's nothing. <laughs> yeah, this is the transformation of Ven from yeah. Yeah. sneaky street rat, street rat to now walking through the streets confidently. Now just going and beating a dog because she needs her chondra to, you know. Yeah, yeah. By the way, uh, before we get too far, theory number two of Alondo. I don't think Ven's mom was crazy. Ooh. <laughs> Elaborate. Do tell. Do tell. I don't think she was crazy um, with this whole idea of killing her sister. I think that this story has been told through a false lens or a cloudy lens, and it's not what you think it is. Okay. I think there's more to that going on. It keeps coming back over and over again, and it's told as truth. And when something is told as truth as much as that is, I feel like it's the same thing as like Ben's brother, you know, seemed like he's like abandoned her, but he didn't. He held honorable to her yeah. until the very end. I feel like this is the same situation with Ben's mom. I don't think because that, that came early in this chapter. I yeah. don't think she was that's as cut and dry as you think it is. I think there's something else that's happened okay. there, but I think we don't have all the facts yet. And so, okay. Alondo theory for this book, Ben's mom, she was not crazy. She didn't just like kill her sister and almost kill her. And it's not it's not as black and white as you think it is. There's a whole bunch of gray in there, and I feel like we just don't have that information right now okay. to kind of figure it all out. That's my I, theory. I love that because that shit happens all the time, dude. Okay. All the time because it doesn't world. make sense. It, it right now it's not logically clicking. You hear me. certain side. There's always two sides to every story, right? Mm -hmm. There you go. There you go. So there's there's three sides. Really three sides. interesting. Three sides. Three sides. Theory time. Theory time. There's, there's, there's what they said. The two people time. said in the actual truth. It's uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Very true. Three sides yep. to um, what actually really happened was. Um, nice, nice. Raffo. <laughs> so, Raffo. Yeah, Raffo. Big Raffo. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> Raffo. Uh, anyway. Sure, sure. I'm going to go back to my sure. whole sure game. Sure. Mm -hmm. Where's the gift? Sure. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Make a gift for that. Yeah, sure, <laughs> sure. Oh, there's a ton of sure gifts. Uh, don't, don't, get, don't get me started with sure gifts. Uh, nice. <laughs> uh, I have to go up and find them. So I got uh, got this one. Sure. Nice. Uh, nice <laughs> one. Yes. Sure. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I love both. Uh, the sh the uh, sure gifts are Dr. Evil uh, is always good. He didn't go to four years of a... Uh... Oh! <laughs> yes! I love the Brooklyn Nine-Nine. I, I got those yes. ready. I got them ready. All right, guys. Oh, yes. the Brooklyn Nine-Nine. I'm such a fan of that show. <laughs> you... All right. Sure. Sorry, sure. I'm getting, All right. I'm getting um, caught up in the details. Go ahead. So next... Next, uh, thank next, you for thank you for yeah. allowing me to spout my theory. I appreciate that. Yeah, no, no problem at all. So yeah, so uh, the next scene, Vin gets back uh, to uh, the Luthadel uh, Palace, and he just she slams the Wolfhound down the floor. You know, the guards are just looking at her like strangely from the corner, like <laughs> what the hell is wrong with her? And she, and oh Siri, was like, what the hell is this? Like, yeah, like, and she's like. Yeah, this this is for you. This is your new body. Go ahead and start eating now. And he's like, "That's a dog." <laughs> he's like, "Yeah, it is. Yeah. Go eat it." He's like, "I'm a man. No, you're a chondra." It's like you imitate flesh. You tell me you can't do this. He's like, "I mean, I can, but I won't." And like that's pretty much what this car just going. It's like, it's like, all right. Well, no, you are. I'm gonna compel you to do it. 
I command you, eat the dog. Yeah, your dog now. <laughs> <laughs> that was a that was a crazy scene. The whole thing. And he's you like, can oh. feel her anger towards that guy. Oh my god, it's palpable, dude. Jeez. <laughs> and then he's like, "Oh, I gotta like recreate like every piece of fur on this thing." Mm-hmm. I'm like, and I'm just in my mind. I'm like sitting here, like just trying to like figure out. I was like, "Yeah, that's crazy amounts of time it would take to reproduce every bit of fur." Yeah. On this animal? Are you kidding me? And then there's a size difference. There's all kinds of other things that go on. Right. That, that, yeah, that makes no sense. So, yeah, I was like, does this really happen? And then he was like, there's not really evidence that has occurred before. So it's like, you don't even know if it's actually truly possible at that point in time. Right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But, but I mean, Osir says, yeah, it is possible. I mean, he can do it. It's going to take a little longer. Yeah. Um, but, but he definitely, and he even says, like, that's beneath me. Like, I don't do that. And, he, and he's like, it's insulting. Like, yeah. It's insult. Yeah. It's insulting to him. I mean, they're like, the only way I'm going to do it is if you bring up the contract. It's like, all right, fine. The contract, do it. <laughs> yeah. Right. Right. Because, I mean, to him, he said, um, I would, I would rather die than not yeah. meet. The, the contract that I have created with you. So Z- Zul, good point. He, you know, he told her, he says, you need to provide me the skeleton because he can't kill. Right. Yeah, I've been never said he even won. <laughs> he right. did not specify. So. Right. And he which was looking I'll, busted after the uh, last situation from, which, you know, last couple chapters. So, Which I still love the fact that last episode, Will brought up that, um, the bird thing like can conjure me birds and like i was like raffo and you go now i'm gonna have more nightmares i was like <laughs> well <laughs> <laughs> it was right on time will will well done they're pretty we learned skin- more about if you know about abolition skinwalkers that's what conjure are all right <laughs> yeah right <laughs> except like they also take into account like how the muscles form uh-huh. and oh, yeah. how these mm-hmm bones are used to reconstruct things yeah. like we learned a lot more about the chondra in this short little like third of a chapter which i thought was like okay yeah. all right <laughs> lord Renault is turning into a whole other fucking avenue that we have no idea about yeah yeah the whole thing is weird i mean it's it's, it's ethereal sure. uh but yeah. <laughs> Hey, necessary <laughs> evil. I mean, it's been effective, obviously, but it's still just. I, I, I personally well, love contrast. So, you don't know. Don't disrespect the bag of antlers. <laughs> yeah. Isn't this like what me. it all originated from? You, yeah, you got it did. Me it did. Like, it did. It's amazing. Yeah, we the, went the from bag of, of antlers, and now we're like talking about recreating like, like well, wolf fur. I swear. Well, yeah, it was, it was funny. I, I will uh, take it, responsibility it the, for the, the bag of antlers, the, dude. The dude it's first, nothing to be ashamed of. The it's very first time a myth, a myth, Thank you. myth wraith was re- mentioned. The very first time myth wraith, uh, Elando said, uh, "You know, bag of antlers," which is pretty accurate. <laughs> like, <laughs> yes, yeah. it still holds up. It still yeah, holds it's, up. It still holds <laughs> up. <laughs> bag of antlers. That's right. That's right. Bag they could. They could be a deer too. Uh, <laughs> Uh-huh, uh-huh. Um, what else? I got yeah. the anything you want, baby. <laughs> and, 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 oh, and no! I love, <laughs> I, love, I, I love how this gets even more, like, crazy, because it gets even more, like, just this this hatred between each other. Like, you can mm. definitely, it's not just one side. You know Vin doesn't like Osir, but Osir does not like Vin either. Because, I mean, there's all this, and it seems almost like a punishment. But then, like, Osir mentions, like, oh, yeah, by the way, there's a letter over there. And, like, it's like, you weren't going to tell me because it wasn't my contract. Like, uh, you didn't tell me to do it. You, you didn't know. you didn't compel me to do it to tell you right. that I had to tell you whenever letter came. So yeah, well, it's yeah. like why why doesn't Vin like why doesn't Vin like him? Like because he ate because it kills here. Okay, yeah, <laughs> yes, and we find that out. Yeah, right. And I mean, uh, he yeah. basically ate her pseudo dad. So, but so you also like like how long has he been around working with uh Kelsier and crew? Like a long time. So to him, mm-hmm. Vin is new. He's like. Why don't you like me? Like you don't know anything about me. You know what I mean? She doesn't know anything Stuff. about the Condra at all. Like the Condra really right. yeah. anyway. She's just learned about Condra. And by the so. way, this guy isn't doing anything really like off of the rails from what his race does. That's- and it was part this of his contract too. And he, he was supposed contract, to Kelsier's contract to him was to eat him. Like that was yeah. 
He was told but, he was and this is what he that. does. <laughs> this is what they all do. I mean, I have to assume at this point in time, all conjurer are the same things, right? I mean, you eat the antlers, you become the deer, blah, 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 blah. But you don't like, you know, it's not like, oh, he's like the worst one or the one doing something like outside the norms. This is how they operate. And it just happens to be that they're using him to get to certain ends. Good question. If he eats a dead nobleman and a horse, does he become a centaur? Uh, yeah, he does. Yeah, he does. And a centaur bird, a he's, boy. he's now got wings. He got wings. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Red Bull. Now he's, uh-huh. now he's a griffin. And now he's, uh... I don't know if we pointed this out when I was when I was BRBing, but like the fact that Vin thought, hey, take the form of a dog or a wolf. Now mm-hmm. nobody knows like you're just a pet. That's, Nobody knows pet. you could hear us. Right. Right. Like and you're a super spot. spy. It's super smart on Vince's part. I mean, it is super smart yeah. on Vince's part. That's super and smart. That's... <laughs> and, and like I said, this is probably not the first time this has happened. This is just, it's probably been like a, 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 a the, the, what, the loudest secret. Yeah. Where it's yeah. like everybody knows it's possible, but nobody like spreads it. Yeah. You know, something like that. Um, it makes so much sense though, because. When it comes to dogs and animals and things like that, you don't pay that much attention. But she was like gonna have to like come with an excuse for like this human being dismissed from her like her like core of you know servants and all this kind of stuff. So she had to come up with this explanation, like, oh, he was like what was the excuse she was gonna give? He was like being too inquisitive or something. She was like, yeah. I'm gonna fire him or something like that. I can't remember. I was gonna fire you anyway, so now I can just yeah. it. Um, so yeah. you have to, see, so when a human gets dismissed or goes missing, you have to come mm-hmm. up with like all these reasons. When an animal goes missing, it's like, oh well, you know what? They got into some bad kibble. They got it ran over by a carriage and you know that's mm-hmm, what happened. Mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. Yeah. Somebody's dueling king got in the way. Oh man, dueling king. <laughs> Always Pimp Pimp Kane. Kane. <laughs> Pimp Kane. Got, Got my Julie Kane right here. I'm ready to go. Um, st- well <laughs> um, so yeah, so she has a letter for her, and it's w- with a package as well. You know, it says, "Hey, you know, we got th- from from this guy, um, uh, Tyrion, who's been um, uh, he's like the best mixer of ele- elementic metals, I guess they've ever met or whatever." And and, and they've been trying a bunch of different of these types because she's trying to find the opposite of aluminum right so we learned that aluminum from last book was used by the inquisitors they, that's what they gave her uh that made all the metals disappear when she burned it right remember she was captive and they made her feed something and then she burned yeah, it they went forced away. it on her yep mm-hmm. well she knows how elementary works and if it's something there it has to be an opposite so she's trying to find the opposite right. um and, and every one she's tried so far has been not good it just made her sick um, made her sick yeah yeah uh, and and she even says well kelsier says you know that doesn't kill me if it you know if it's wrong it just makes you sick and i think it's um uh, is it docs in here or is it ellen i can't remember who's is ellen's talking to her it's like kelsier wasn't always right though like <laughs> be careful yeah. with this it's like yeah. i'll just try anything but it gets this new thing called duralumin uh which is four percent copper mixed with aluminum uh and um yeah so she gets this she decides to uh well I don't think she burns in this scene. She gets in. She's just talking about it. But mm-hmm. yeah, um, and, and dismisses the hound to get to work. <laughs> yep, get to work on the hound. Uh, yeah, and then she leaves to go talk to Ellen. That's what it is. Um, this is the first time we hear about an allomantic metallurgist, yeah. right? Yeah, but yeah. he's been obviously working on these pe- things for like a uh, long time. Yeah, obviously, there's people that do this for a living. I mean, there's enough mistings and people like that there would be a whole profession on this it's it's like, a industry if you will yeah and it has to be lucrative oh it has to 100%. Be. Yeah. yeah you would think so so anything from the whole scene with the conjury before we switch to then going in meeting with ellen and docs uh one thing i want to say i mean we've kind of went past it already but like earlier when especially when Vin is like walking through the streets what I really like about Sanderson is how well he like, like you understand this anxiety he has, because I know mm-hmm. that Sanderson himself doesn't have anxiety, but he mm-hmm. has this incredible ability of writing anxious people, depressed people, 
all kinds of like mental uh, illnesses and other things like that. That yeah, it's, yeah. It's PTSD. Great. He writes PTSD yeah. really well. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We had a conversation about this. I want to feel like it was like maybe two or three episodes ago. Um, we had a, I wouldn't say a lengthy conversation about that. How he does an incredible job of putting you in that mind space of like mm -hmm. what it's like to be going through the emotional situation that someone's yeah. in. Cause I mean, every time Vin brings up like, you know, the PTSD that she's been through with, you know, the former crews and all this kind of stuff, it, it, it makes you feel like you were right there, like in her mm -hmm. head, like, right. Oh my gosh, she has been through trauma and torture and abuse and all these things. And it yeah. seems like it comes up even when it was Kelsey or, or whoever, it really puts you in their their head space, and uh, again, kudos to Sanderson all around. Yeah, yes. I mean, it's someone someone brought it up like the way Sanderson writes is it's like he makes the reader part of the story, and I, I've heard this I've heard this multiple times. People explain sure. this, but I, I I like this analogy is like, you know, in book one when Kelsier is like trying to convince the crew to stay on or whatever. Like you read it and it's definitely towards the crew, but as you as the reader, it's like you're convincing you as the reader to stay with this this game plan too, and you're like. Right. Yeah. I mean, he, he writes in this voice that just gets you as a reader involved with everything. So you really Absolutely. get attached to the characters really fast. And you're like, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. That, and that's, that's his way of, yeah. What, and, and that with mental health as well. Um, so yes. you, you end up, if, if you, even if you don't have those issues, but if you know someone that does, or even if you are, especially if you do, you feel like definitely speaking to you um if you suffer from mm -hmm. anxiety or depression or, or if you've PTSD experienced or, them in the past oh, yeah, exactly. or ever been through it it's yeah. like wow yeah uh, yeah he cool. does he does addiction even does autism uh in, in a different book as well um really really well um and, yeah. and he he actually hires people now i don't know back when he started writing this but i know in his acknowledgments in some of his later books he talks about some of the psychologists and different people that he hires to help him work through getting the psychology part right right so yeah yeah and and yeah, just, just wait to get the stormlight people. archives that's some um, yeah Storm, that's yeah, i was thinking yeah. stormlight archives yeah, yeah. yeah. stormlight yeah. archives yeah. where it like really is put on display but yeah but yeah. oh wow okay <clears throat> yeah do because yeah, we've all had that situation where it's like we've been through something traumatic something triggers us we don't <clears throat> talk about it but it's like yeah. at the forefront of our minds we can't like erase it it's like right there but it's a personal struggle. So you don't talk about it with other people, but because it's a book, we can hear those inner thoughts and see those things happening real time. Where it's like, yep. you know, then being betrayed by her brother or Kelsier going through the, all the situations that he went through, all these things through all the, that all these people have experienced. And in those moments, it's like, there's these, like these connections that happen. It's like, right. Oh, there's PTSD from this thing. I'm mm -hmm. being traumatized by the fact I got abandoned by this person or right. whatever it is. And Sanderson does a great job of bringing that up in the moment that it makes mm -hmm. the most sense because right. that's when it would affect you the most is in the most obscure situation. But mm -hmm. it's like right now there's a connection, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, also, I didn't know this. Something I learned tonight. Uh, Duralum actually is an actual thing. It's aircraft aluminum. Um, no kidding. I didn't know that. <laughs> I didn't know that either. Uh, that's so great. That's so okay. cool. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, 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 I just, unfortunately, I'll be in a deep dive on that now. <laughs> yeah, I just pulled up a tab. I have a tab open right now. I'll get into that later. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, 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 it's very, very hard. Duralum and the... Mm. Uh, the Stormlight Archive. So is that another section that we'll get into at a different point? That's a whole other book series. That we it's will another do. series. So we'll I, I do know that. I don't know any more than that, I promise. I haven't read it yeah. yet. Yeah, that's a whole other series. We'll, we will get there. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait. Uh, but yeah, we'll get there. When you uh, said archive, I was like, is this like a side piece I could get into no, in no, the meantime? Stormlight or? Archive is a whole other book series that's yeah. in the Cosmere. Um, but it's, yeah. Cosmere Universe. Cosmere Raffo. Universe. Graph up. Yeah, we'll get there. Um, we're not yep. going to do that next. We're going to do um, uh, Elantris after this. After this, I trust episode. your guidance. Yes, yeah. we trust you. Oh, Captain, we're, my we're Captain. Elantris. And then we'll do, we'll do the first of Stormlight, and then we'll break and do War Warbreaker, and then we'll go back to Stormlight. Because <laughs> so, you need to do War. I, I I like the idea of putting Warbreaker after Book One, just because it's fresh for Book Two. 
my seatbelt is on. But I'm anyway, <laughs> so nice. Eva might disagree with me on this, <laughs> but we could talk about that offline. Uh, so. There you go. All right. <laughs> I've, I've, I've really put a lot of thought into this, and there's, there's reasons why. But um, so yeah, so we'll, we'll get there. Okay. Um, so yeah, so we get to Ellen and Docs is back. So Vin's really excited. Docs is back. Um, yeah. Um, and, and we found out he's been up in Terrace. It's it's cold up there. Um, which now yeah. makes sense now that I know the map. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really cold up there. Um, you know, oh. and, and there. Go ahead. Uh, I think I'm. I mean, think about the right spot. But Ellen kind of makes a joke, like, or someone makes a joke that, like, you know, the kingdom almost was in disarray without you here, Docs. You know, being able to do your, you know, analysis of finance and and you know. Docs isn't a, a misting or anything, but he has all of the organizational skills behind the scenes. He keeps everything in order, right? So they make the joke like, "Where the hell have you been, dude? We mi we missed you. Like we needed you here, you know." And something like, about that seemed so phony when I read it. Though when I listened but, to it, I was like, "This sounded phony." And then, of but course, even it talks about on. Vin even talks about it. It's is phony. Like they don't it, like each other uh, because it, it just it sounded it sounded like perfunctory speak, and I was like, oh, "Okay, I saw right through that." And mm -hmm. I was like, that didn't sound, that sounded so off. I don't yeah. know what it was. And then, like, moments later. It yeah. was Ellen's attempt to, like, be funny and be like, I like you. I'm going to make a joke at you. And Docs was like, nah. <laughs> I literally, wrote, literally nah. I wrote this term. I, I mean, this phrase. I said, why don't Ellen <laughs> and Docs and like each other? Dot, dot, dot. Never mind. Because we get later on. <laughs> and I was like, got it. <laughs> but I was like, wait. Well, well, <laughs> you, you know from the previous book with Vin talking to, to Doc, Docs and hates Nolan. He's like Kelsier. I mean, he his oh, his girl was taken by a Nolan. I mean, you get his whole backstory in the little right, sidebar right. in the first book yep. with Docs. And, and, um, and he doesn't like any Nolan. He doesn't care if it's vin's boy or not like right. Dr. but 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 he's putting up with ellen because vin and because this is better than the lord ruler um you know but that's it's a very tenuous at best um relationship between the two right very very fake like yeah we like each other yeah mm -hmm, mm -hmm. welcome yeah. back <laughs> welcome back uh couldn't have done it without you yeah <laughs> um but yeah, it, it, and this is also where they get into the whole thing with like the new metal and, and Vin saying she's gonna try it. And, oh, and they also talk about Vin making a sir dog, which they think is the most brilliant thing ever. Right. It's just like that is amazing. Like <laughs> it's like, yeah, no one will ever suspect a dog. And it's yeah. true. I mean, it's like no one suspects yeah. a pet. Like that's true. Yeah. And you can take it everywhere. Like, I have my new dog. I love my new dog. It's uh mm -hmm. Paris Hilton or Chihuahua, you know, you can just right, stick right. it out wherever you want, and it's it's no big deal. Um, <laughs> it's my therapy wolfhound. Yeah, it's a therapy wolfhound. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take it on the plane. Take it everywhere. Uh, exactly. Yep. Um, I, I love the mental image of like small Vin, who is like such a short woman, and then this gigantic dog following her around. Yes. Yeah. Yes, that's it. Because it's like almost as tall as her, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this it's thing just... is huge. <laughs> <laughs> but I love this how Elodie even tries to like broach the subject so nicely. It's like, is that a new perfume you're trying? He goes, no, it's dog. <laughs> <laughs> it's dog. Hey, but he plays it out later, and he's like, I kind of wish it was new perfume. Oh no! Oh no! Like the small oh, dog. Uh, yeah. 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 Brilliant. Um. So yeah, they get into all that, and then they get into um. Uh, I think this is where they get into the metal a little bit. Um about you know being dangerous or whatever is not the proper she goes ahead and tries to burn it um and nothing it doesn't get sick but she can't figure out it doesn't do anything yep um boom, boom, ba -dum, boom. yeah sorry i said price is right you love know, that show when they, like, mm -hmm. <laughs> they, they get the wrong price da, 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 da. Yeah, and she thinks uh, she's like, well, it didn't give me six, so it might it must be the right one, but it didn't do anything. So, right, what do you think? Every other think, one has made you, her do sick. You, do you think? And and she also mentions how many she has on deck to try. <laughs> like, and they're like, yeah, this is more. like four of sixty-four. I'm just throwing numbers out. Yeah, I know it's like right number, number four, six. Yeah, <laughs> but it's like it's like oh, okay, you you're you're really you're going through all the permutations, right? Okay, yeah. okay. Good luck with that. 
Yeah, right. It's like whoever first discovered, you know, Alamancy, you're going back to that level. Like you have no yeah. idea what it does. You're burning it, but you got to figure out how to actually channel that energy, like with no it, guidance. It's like you wonder, like humans as a species, like how we started eating certain things. Like who thought that was a good idea and tried it right. first? Um, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. there had to be that trial and error for a while, like where you just ate random plants, and people start dying, and like, oh, can't eat right. those ones. Let's try like, this one. Oh yeah, that this one is works. A, this is and, a cool looking pink mushroom. And I, I've heard people say like, well, you know, you just watch what animals eat, but not all animals have the same immune. Like, there are certain plants where like deer can eat that humans cannot eat. Like, and it doesn't work that way. Right. So, like, it's not. It's not. It's not that clear. There are people dying left and right. Like, because so, animals, like, some animals have multiple stomachs, and the one stomach is like the, the, yeah to clean out the poison. Yeah. <laughs> the second stomach mm. actually digests the food. <laughs> Yeah. My favorite There's... is probably puffer fish because it's not just that you go to the forest. Oh my and god, it yes. You have to go underwater, fish it up, and then you can't even start making food in the first place. Yeah. Somehow like, people still figure it out. Oh my yeah. god. And, so then you, this. and if you cut the wrong piece of flesh off that daggone fish, then it's gonna, dead. It's gonna kill you. Yeah. <laughs> immediately dead. Oh my god. Yeah, that's yeah. that's a great By the one. way, I'm There's gonna go ahead and go. I'm gonna take this to another level. What does all this metal due to your excretions. <laughs> I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it. All right. It's What's the poop look like? I mean, I you know. gotta be like. You probably got like rainbow poop. Hashtag I should. I should have. I should have downloaded the Moana shiny crab video and shiny. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I mean, because I mean, you're, you're ingesting all this metal. You burn it. The metal, I mean, uh, obviously, it turns into a different, uh, I don't know, amalgam of composite molecules or whatever. I don't know. When I was a kid, I You're swallowed a penny. Some I, stuff. It, comes, it comes out as a penny. <laughs> it, you it, it comes out as a penny. Hey. It's, a, it's a George Washington <laughs> penny. comes out the end. I think the first book Kelsier does tell me that uh, never leave like metal in your body. Like Always burn it out mm -hmm. when you go to sleep. Because yeah, you supposed to burn it all before passing. So through. they kind of get still, through, it, through that. Burning just means, uh, and again, I consider burning oxidation, right? Um, so if you burn something, it you're oxidizing it, so it still exists, um, just in a different form. So basically, when you burn something, it becomes like a carbon or something like that. The mass, That's the mass energy saying. equivalent. Like you can't get rid. They're still byproducts. <laughs> Right, it, it doesn't disappear. It's got to be out there somewhere. Mass and energy and is like, either created or destroyed. It just becomes something else. <laughs> look, metal's heavy. All right, I'm just yeah. saying somebody's somebody's cracking this a on the bingo bowl. card. Somebody's bingo. cracking a toilet bowl. <laughs> bingo oh, I should have put it on the bingo card. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Missed Not opportunity, Alondo. Why didn't you think of that? Yeah. Missed opportunity, bingo uh. card. Uh. All right. Yeah. So, so it, it didn't give her. Doing? So it didn't uh, give her a headache. So do you think it works? It just yeah. is not to use it, or what? What do you think? Well, they said they said sorry, She said nothing happened, and I was right. like, "But do you think it actually does something, or do you think it actually?" I don't know because gold really didn't do much initially. Okay. Of course, you come to find out that it actually did more than you thought it did mm -hmm. so is it possible sure um i feel like there should be like a tint or a tinge of some evidence that it did something that's my guess that's my okay. theory well uh, what you got on that man what do you, what do you um think? well so they're messing with like percentages right so mm, good point. maybe mm. she got a little bit sick, but she just can't feel it. Mm. Oh, okay. or maybe it worked a little bit and she can't feel it as well. Mm -hmm. Maybe they still need to mess with the uh, mixture or yeah. whatever you want to call I it. Mean, but oh, I, so, okay. So Sanderson has said this in interviews. I don't think it's actually mentioned in the books yet, anywhere in the Cosmere yet, but he has said in interviews that people do take impure metals and they don't have as much of an effect so i'm, I'm, I'm gonna leave it at that 
Oh, so there's okay. A, there can be impurities in the metal sometimes. Okay. And they might have damp well, but also, like, what about this? Do, like, and I'll leave it there. That's, that's, I'm not going to get too much into more spoilers than that. That's, 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 no, that's cool. That's cool. <laughs> but I want to hear what, 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 what you got, man. You might be on some theory. You might be on some theory time like me. Go ahead. Do different Alamancers burn metals differently? Like, do different mixtures do better with different Alamancers? So I think we already have evidence of that. Because um, it's said when um, when Ben is uh, 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 dueling with uh, Ham, mm -hmm. right? Mm, it's, yeah. It's said that she burns. She burns. She gets more effect out of the burn than like Kelsier did. Yeah, and right. also yeah. they like share metals. Like if Kel is gonna throw her a vial of metal that he uses, it obviously works for her too. But like you said, she just gets more power more out of it from it, right? So I think Will, you're on to the gist, which is I think that there's for something there's some reason she's able to burn. It's almost like being able to burn gas more efficiently. It's like then metabolism. Like, you have a better metabolism. There you go. Metabolism is a good way to put it. Yeah. So she's like just processing it better yeah. than somebody else, which is the reason why like her seeing through, was it copper she was able to see through? The copper cloud. Yeah. Pierce yeah. the copper cloud. She was able to do that better than like other, alum, uh, actually, you know, Mistborn basically. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like there's something there. So I think you're onto something there. So it's, well. it's yeah. okay. So it's not, it's not necessarily the Almancer, but it could have to do with the mixture that they're working with. Because uh, maybe, I mean, I would like to think that Kel got like the purest of the pure, like the best mixtures, right? But Kel's not around anymore and she's dealing with a new uh, Almantic metallurgist or whatever. Yeah. Maybe he's not a reliable source. At this point in time, I don't believe anybody's a reliable source. Yeah, I don't know. I love this chain. So she has more uh, than, uh, than <laughs> Anakin. Uh, oh no! 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 Other side of that. What? Wait, what does aluminum do? Do we know that? It gets rid do of I all just, your metals. It gets rid of all metals. So they. Oh, that's she, the... she ingested aluminum. She was forced mm -hmm. to ingest aluminum when she was in the uh, the, the the jail, the jail cell. Yeah. And uh, it made her. It basically Cleared eliminated her. all of the other metals that she had in her. It was pretty much cold so, and blow. It just, just, it was cold. <laughs> <laughs> just, just cleaned everything out. <laughs> Cold blow for the wind. But did, hold on, hold on. It. But what, did the Inquisitors make her burn it, or did she just have to ingest it? Well, they, no, they, they made, made her, her burn ingest it, it and, and made her burn, okay. burn it. Yeah, yeah but but so you now it's come... the flip side would be something that she could ingest that basically gives her all of the metals. Right, all the metals. We don't. But know. but but now in this uh, chapter, cold isn't it blow. combined with another metal too? Oh, well, all alloys yeah. are. So yeah, I mean that's right. how all alloys are made. So but I mean, they, not... they even said that like you know you have iron and then you have steel, which is iron and carbon. Like so, it's right. Like, so every right. like the, the opposite right. alloy of the alloy is going to be something that's a, a derivative of the base metal, and that's going right. to be your opposite is going to be an alloy of that. So it's a like steel chemistry is an alloy of, thing, of so iron. This is getting me back into chemistry. So yeah, bear with me. <laughs> yeah, bear with me a little bit, guys. It's fine. Yeah, I, it's, yeah. Anderson did his research on on chemistry for this book. Definitely... Yeah, because I mean, I remember when I was, I was reading this, uh, the last book, and it's like the steel and everything. And I was like, you know, st wait, steel isn't steel got carbon in it? There's no mm -hmm. metal. I was like, and, and so yeah, but I'm it's an alloy it's of iron. But yeah. I'm I'm glad it's finally being discussed. Explained. Yeah, it's, because. Yeah. I was like, I didn't want to, you know, do the um actually, like, but you know, um actually, but this is so a like, different universe, though, when, too. I mean, right. I don't want to when assume you look at, when you look at the all the like, apply here, apply there. When you look at the bases, you have iron, which is a base metal. And you have steel, which is an alloy of iron. You have tin and pewter. 
tin's a base metal. It's a base, a base element. Pewter is a mixture of tin, and I don't know what else is mixed in. But uh, it's, it's tin and um, but it's it's a mixture. See, I did not oh know pewter was zinc, a mixture. Zinc and brass, we dealt with copper so and bronze, was... like they're all. Uh, it, yeah, you have zinc, your... yeah, zinc is a zinc is an element. Brass is not an element. Brass is. I think brass it's, is the one that's mixed with copper. Uh, copper. It's zinc. It's zinc and copper mixed together. Zinc, zinc is your base, copper. and then you have yeah. So you have your right, base metal. Right. Then you have your alloy of zinc, which is brass. Alloy of zinc, which is yeah, brass. Alloy yep. of copper, which is bronze. Like so, it's all. Uh, Peter's an alloy um, of, of tin. No, bronze. Bronze. Alloy, bronze. Yeah. I said copper. I meant to say it's bronze. Bronze is, isn't it? Yeah, bronze is an alloy. Tin and bronze. And brass. You're going to go or back and study bronze. the periodic table. Bronze, bronze is uh, copper combined with some tin. Yeah. I, see, so I, I really should keep. Copper is alloy. Okay. I, I should really keep like a chart around. I think bronze like is actually is. copper and tin mixed together, if I remember yeah. correctly. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I'm gonna go back and study the uh, uh, periodic yeah. table a little bit. We're, we're, well, it's we're, not gonna we're, help you with these alloys, though. The alloys is the part no, that's why I gotta go back and study the, the actual. Uh, yeah, I forget the alloys. It's um, it's metal, man. <laughs> I love like, those. It's oh, and like, and by the way, uh, it's a metal. ninety. It, I feel like eighty percent of the periodic table is metal, <laughs> and then it's like twenty percent is everything else. It's, it's like gas. all these like things on the on the outsides, right? So oh, you got some liquids. You got some liquids in there. Very few. You got mercury. Uh, <laughs> it's still a metal though. It's, metal. it's still a metal. It's a liquid metal. Oh uh, yeah, it's a metal. Point. There's only two, a lot two of gases. Metals, right? You have gases. So. You have gases. Lots of gases. You have noble well, gases. Have... They can all be gas if it's you know warm enough. Yeah, and then you have carbon. Yeah. You have other stuff that's yeah. not. Yeah, well, but I'm saying though, if you look at the periodic table, the cool one that's actually got the color a scheme yeah. on it, and then you find out it's like basically like 80 percent of the periodic table is like metal, metal, and then it's yeah. like here and here is not metal, it's and not then at metal. the bottom is all those like contrived elements that have come out right. of like nuclear explosions and things like right. that, like Einsteinium yeah. and all those things, right. Um, yeah, the the heaviest naturally occurring metal is 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 uranium, right? And uranium, then, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But we have, yeah, we've created all sorts of other metals, all kinds of things. That, <laughs> yeah, anyway, and they only exist for like milliseconds at a time. We're digressing. <laughs> you know, so this like this that. chapter ends with Ham coming in saying, "Hey, you want to spar?" Um, so <laughs> nice. Yes, yes. That's how we end this chapter. Uh, we didn't actually get to the spar till the next one, um, but. Any other thoughts? I mean, this is this is the big bulk chapter for tonight's discussion. Obviously, with the Conjure, right. with the uh, Duralunium, 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 Duralum. Sorry, thank you. I can't. Even, I can't <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. Saying uh, how how to pronounce how do the British pronounce aluminum? Uh, it's aluminium. Aluminium, aluminium, aluminium yeah. <laughs> which actually makes a lot of sense when you when research you, it. When, so yeah, I've been yeah, saying yeah. it too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the the other thing we kind of glossed over was really quick just the romantic relationship we got a picture into between Kel, uh vin and oh Kel, yeah um, and it's it's i don't want to go back and and go over it it was there i read through it but like they have an interesting relationship they're in love right but um it's different now because when they fell in love vin was acting as a noble woman now she's the mistborn protecting mm -hmm. Uh, Alan, and she and thinks Alan like, why so not? Alan. Why not Kelsier? Like, and she's like, Kelsier was like an older brother or father figure to me. Like, I, but he wasn't. Yeah, that much he old. showed some insecurity. Thirty-eight year old man. Oh <laughs> man, yeah. Thanks. <laughs> thanks for that. He's ancient. She oh said he's God. ancient. She's like, he's oh, not that ancient. He's like thirty-eight. <laughs> I didn't realize Kel was only thirty-eight. Thirty-eight. Yeah. He's considered an old man. <laughs> <laughs> 38. Oh my god. So what am I? I guess to a 16 year old, a 38 year old is Asian. I mean, yeah, yeah. I am decrepit. Also, living in the streets as a scar, like that's a long time to stay alive. Yeah, yeah, oh, wow. yeah good yeah. point. Unfortunately, if you come and blow on me, I disappear like like into the wind, like the guy at the end of uh, Indiana Jones and the um, uh, Last Crusade. He's like, <laughs> 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 yep, disappear like dust. <laughs> yeah, because if he's ancient, I am uber ancient. Yeah, right. I, I guess I had, I just wanted to touch on like the relationship there. Right? Sure. Yeah. yeah no. Like, no. That's but even she admitted. Even go. she admitted that Kelsher was reckless. Yeah. 
Love but that. But she's being she reckless it. now. But yeah. anyway. She's a little reckless, but she learned she from is. the best. She yep. did. Yeah. Um, I know a lot of you and I are old. Oh, uh, how old are you? Are, Zool, are, you you my, are you in my? Are you in my bracket? Are you in my yeah, bracket? Yeah, Zool's, Zool's in your bracket. <laughs> nice. <laughs> well done. <laughs> We'll Calm go out, out and share some Metamucil together. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Swap AARP uh, cards. Uh. Hey, that's hey. right. The discounts. Discounts. There you go. Um, chapter six. Uh, anything from chapter five before we move to chapter six? Nope. We're good. Okay. Nope. Uh, I write this record now, pounding in a metal slab because I'm afraid. I'm afraid of myself. I admit to being human. If Alindy does return from the Wall of Ascension, I am certain my death will be the first of his objectives. He is not an evil man, but he is, is a ruthless one. That is, I think, a product of what he's been through. I, I, I know I didn't do a lot of this in the first book. What? Who is Alindy? Who is Alindy? Again, who is Alindy? Who is Alindy? Yeah. He has some hints now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think it's an ancient terrorist person. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So chapter six, we just jump right to the duel. Um, where you know Ellen's over there just casually watching um as uh as Vin and Ham square up for a sparring match and have a little epic fight between the two of them in the courtyard. Lots of uh lots of fun action here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um in the end, uh, they they actually take bets. So clubs is there, your boy, your boy Alana. Clubs is man. Clubs, clubs. This is a clubs chapter. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited. My money's on the girl, <laughs> and yeah. Ellen bets against her. <laughs> uh, yeah. Clubs so, not like yeah. certain yeah. level of like self preservation. I feel there. I would not bet against me if I was him. Yeah. True. Um, and then we get we get another person that shows up wearing a fake beard, and Ellen doesn't recognize him until he starts speaking. That's <laughs> what was he uh, was he was he watching? Um, and had been and had snuck back in and had been there for a few days. Yeah, uh, good for him. I mean, so he's like on that like like sneaky action, that spy action. Good for him. Yeah. They also turn around. He's like over six feet tall now. Yeah, he's grown up. Yeah, he's he's, he's, he's a grown ass spook. He's a grown ass spook. Um, and he's 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 dropped his uh his slang, but he can he still goes back to it every now and then. He says, but he's yeah, he's, he's kind of still, you know, yeah, he's moving in out of circles. I mean, as a spot, mm -hmm. he's got to be able to do that, right? So good for him. Yeah. Yep. And we get a lot of conversation with clubs and Ellen here, and and, and spook as well, just about the army, about everything going on, and how terrible things are. Um, you know, Straff's uh, digging in uh, some fortifications. You know, they're they're worried about it. As all this is, ha as they're having this conversation casually, there's a epic battle going on in the courtyard. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, with staves and you know the burning pewter and all this all this fun stuff. It's a pretty fun to walk, fun description of what's going on. And soldiers um, starting to kind of like you know like kind of a mass and come to watch as well because they're mm -hmm. like, you know, issues about to go down. Right. So, yeah. It's entertaining yeah. all around. Yeah, we get some news from Spook on what's going on in the West. Um, pretty much, yeah. There's just rumors about the Lord's Rollers ATM being in Luthadol, but nothing really right. going on out there. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah. So, any thoughts about this whole conversation? I, I got a picture back when Kel was around when they would all hang out and drink and like have their yeah. little team meetings. But this was a different team meeting where instead of them planning attack, they were planning for an attack on them. So instead of them sitting around drinking, talking about their plan, Pam and Ben were like, yeah, we should probably like practice, you know, and also we'll talk some shit on the side while our friends are watching. So it was like yeah. a different kind of team meeting but a similar vibe where like you know it was kind of like joking around like we're gonna bet on who's gonna win still having fun um you know as light yeah. of a environment you can have when you know you're about to get attacked by an army with lord straff right yeah i guess 
Because at the at the end of the day, it is never you are never allowed to forget that. Yeah, you know, the there's an army there. just about to like, you yeah. know, an army that is way overpowered. What you have is yep. about to come and say hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and at the end, Vin wins the little sparring match. Uh, Ham defeat, uh, Mitch defeat. Uh, but then they start asking a little bit of questions to Ham. It's like that that jump that Vin made. Did she use steel? Did she cheat? Ham's like, I don't think so. It's just that, and you get this whole, you get a little bit more glimpsed into how Alamancy works because he's like, yeah. yeah, she burned pewter, but like because of her size, like she can do more than someone as big as I can because she has less mass. Right. So like you can, yeah. And it's, she burns it differently. She burns it more burns, efficiently yeah. than, than right. someone else does. By the way, the thing I did want to make sure I mentioned though, I love, oops, sorry, I love these nicknames. This spook gives his uncle, all right? Oh, he yeah. calls him Uncle Grumbles. <laughs> he calls him uh, Uncle uh, Krusty. <laughs> and then he calls him Uncle Irritable. I love him. I was like, yo! Yeah! Because, <laughs> you know, my boy Club, is, he's still my boy. And I love the name. Yeah. And he comes Good. back from visiting the North, and he, like, leaves his uncle a sample of woodworking. And he's like, this is what the this true carpenters are doing. Like. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> like what are you doing he's dropping zingers left yeah. and right yeah, yeah. spook kind of leveled up in this chapter I feel did. Like. oh yeah did. and then he's got he's trying to pull the swagger with with ben you know he's yeah. just like oh you need to get rid of that mustache you know he's like oh or like when she comes back with the with the with the the, the water uh, which you bring mm -hmm. back Whatever it is, ale, I can't remember. And right. he's like, No cup for me. And she's like, mm, You ain't uses the force. Yeah. Here, here you go. Here's your cup. <laughs> you know? And they start drinking. And he even goes to the point of saying, It's almost like he accepts, like, okay, Vin and Ellen is a thing. And he's like, I got to find a girl. I got to find He's a like, girl. It's not going to happen with mm. Vin. I got to find somebody. But he says <laughs> it openly. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever done that? Just like then just with some this just some boys to be like, I need to find a girl. <laughs> I need a girl. Yeah. I love how Al, 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 Ellen like quips about all of it. Like Van gives him a hard time about his beard. Like <laughs> yeah, the fake beard he's wearing. He's like, it's just a disguise, man. And he goes, he goes, I suppose L you can give me a title or something like that. He's like, I don't think it would matter, Spook. Yeah. <laughs> like, it would matter. <laughs> it wouldn't matter if you give me a title. He goes, like, goes, he goes <laughs> Dude, but he comes back and he goes, It works for you. He said it worked for you, and I was like, "Oh shit!" He came back on Ellen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but Ellen had something quick to say back. But still, mm -hmm. I mean, Spook. Like, but Spook is he has definitely raised his game. I <laughs> felt like if anybody has ever seen Goodfellas, there's mm -hmm. this scene. Uh, it's the, the the young guy that actually was in the Sopranos, whatever, and uh, he's the dude that like serves drinks in the bar, and he just. Uh, 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 Joe Pesci's character just keeps coming at him. He just keeps just throwing stuff at him. And then the next time they see him, he like he comes at him. He's like, "Go fuck yourself." He just like walks away. And then you know Robert De Niro's character is like, yeah, "Oh, you gonna let him talk to you like that? You let him talk to you like that?" And Joe Pesci just sitting there like, and he just shoots him in the chest. Like, bah, 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 bah. And I'm like, <laughs> that's what I felt like. I felt nervous for Spook for a second. I was like. Did you go too far? Did you go too far? Yeah. Are you okay? Are you okay? But he's like, he's still a little respectful. But man, he was calling him all the nicknames. He's like Uncle Uncle Grumps, <laughs> you know, Uncle mm -hmm. Irritable, and all these things. <laughs> and like, and he's like That's coming awesome. at Ellen. He's coming at like Vin, you know, whatever. And I'm like, all right, he's got he's got swagger to him, which means he's a he's gonna die. Just yes, like, he's gonna die. I just. I, I, I wonder where he learned all that because, like, he went, he was spent year like around Kelsier and was not corrupted by him. But somehow mm -hmm. now, after yeah. Kelsier's gone, he's suddenly acting like that. So yeah, he's got some real good role model somewhere. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Definitely. Who knows? But I feel like he's gonna get killed. I feel like he Spook? is. New... Spook? Or, you think Spook's gonna kill? Spook's gonna get killed. Okay. Uh, so I feel like. He's got that swagger. It reminds me of every time you see a war movie and there's a guy who's just got that much swagger. He's like, <laughs> uh, I always think about that scene when Harry met Sally and mm -hmm. Billy Crystal's like, I'm gonna, I can't wait to get home. I get one of these hot dogs from, from Coney Island. I'm going to go there. <laughs> Somebody shoots him in the head or something like that. I feel yeah. like it's going to happen to Spook. I feel like Spook's okay. going to get killed, which is unfortunate because I like him right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Sure. Uh, <laughs> so. Theory time. Theory time. Theory, theory time. time. <laughs> yeah. Um, so anything from all this fight, from all this discussion, before we switch back to the final scene in this chapter? It's not a long chapter. A lot of it's the sparring. But there's a lot of good conversation here. I mean, just about the, the rumors, the ATM going on, um, you know, the, I guess the quipping back and forth. But anything we missed or anything really that you want to dive into that? What was the this thing that they were talking about? Spook said there was a, a rumor going around. About the Lord Rose ATM. I mean, that was the big rumor. But. Was that the one he said it sounded so it sounded so legit it had to be fake or something like that? I cannot remember. Which which rumor was that? I wish I had written that down. I, this is the reason why I like to keep good notes, just so that way I can remember this kind of stuff. Yeah. For, unfortunately, I don't have the book in front of me. I'm doing the audio book, so I can't just like go like really go, quickly like, look at yeah. it. Yeah. Anyway, um, and maybe it's immaterial. Uh, if if that's the case, then I'm sure I'll be corrected by I'm one sure of you or somebody. In chat I mean, the big thing was the rumors about spreading the ATM cash in Luthadel. Right, right. But that was the big. That was, uh, the and big that was in my rumor. notes, but I, I there might have been something else. Um, Again, be I could be misremembering things, but I just remember there was like some comments about a rumor or whatever. Yeah, anyway, Spook that, says that someone like outside Luthadel is saying that oh, it's all in Luthadel. Yeah, and he kind of came back to tell them that oh, someone out there claims that we have it. Out there claims yeah. you have. Okay, so that was <clears throat> the rumor that. Well, okay, got it. That, yeah. and that makes sense. That's all plausible. Yeah. Anyway, um, that I found that interesting. That you know. They're like sussing out like the rumors that are sounding like they're like being planted very purposefully to try to incite drama, uh, essentially. Yeah. So good. Okay. Yeah. Good. That's the only other thing I could think of that I was you know going to just ask questions about because something about it just kind of caught me off guard and I was like, huh, I wonder what part that might play in things. We yeah. Don't know yet. We don't know yet. So. Anything from, else before we get to like one of my favorite scenes from this book so far? <laughs> when they, they go back point. to Ellen's rooms and there's there's the perfect replica of a wolfhound sitting there. It just looks up mm -hmm. and goes, Welcome back, mistress. <laughs> and Ellen's like, Whoa! Did you just talk? <laughs> 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 yeah. Kind of talking dog now. <laughs> so yeah. He's like, yeah. 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 He's like voice talking. boxes aren't bones, they're just. Just muscles and tissue. I can yeah, recreate. Yeah, just muscles and tissue. I, That's right. I can recreate a voice box. That's not a problem. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the hair is on the other hand. Yeah, hair on the other. Yeah, hand. it took yeah. some time. Took which time you, you said right. that was going to be the situation. So yeah, yeah. yeah voice box is construction of flesh, not bone. Your mattress. Yeah. You know, older conjurer can do these kind of things, and and Vin's like, well, that even makes it better. You can just tell me what people are saying when we get back in private. That's great. Um. And Vin even gives her like, and Vince is being sorry, part Vince being a dick to the conjurer. Let's be honest. Uh, he's like, it took you long enough. And he's like, uh, I told you it'd take a while. Like, yeah, it's hard to do this. And she's like, whatever. <laughs> like, but the but the conjurer's also being very flat. They're both being Vin very too. like that. That yeah, relationship yeah, is like, it's not a good. Yeah, yeah. It, it it is it is completely transactional. Where do you yeah. think it's gonna go from here? Um, I really, I just take it at face value personally. I don't know about okay. you, Will. Will, what do you think? I mean, is you I think if it, it, if um, it's like the Conjure says, anything the the um, I will die before the breaking cop, my contract. Yeah. The cop out is well, it wasn't in the contract, so where it needs to go is okay, Ben. If you want the Conjure to do something, bind them to it command them to do that however you can't think of everything you can't have that kind of foresight to say hey i'm going to command you to make me uh breakfast every day in the morning and like you know it, it's not going to happen that's where it needs to go where it's going to go i think is the conjure's going to screw up to the point where it pisses vin off and ben either kills the conjure or banishes the conjurer and says, "Get the fuck out of here! Like you're not part of our crew anymore." And like super sad day because I can, think the conjurer's pretty cool. Can you kill a conjurer? I'm not saying. Well, 
No, <laughs> I don't know. I've been pushing for you. <laughs> Do I don't know that. I, and I feel like in the back of Ben's mind, she knows like there's some sort of power about this beast. Maybe not. Maybe she. That's why she has some like angst about it. So like she's gonna be, now this is the form of a dog. She's gonna be like, "Get out of here! Get out of here, you stupid dog!" And the dog's gonna run away in the sunset. It's gonna be super sad. What? what do you guys <laughs> it's like about... it's like those movies where it's like somebody's trying to get rid of a dog and they throw rocks at the dog. Like, get, get out of here! Get out of here dog. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> what do you think about this whole contract thing? Like, why do you think they honor it? Like, like, do you think they're actually like there's some magic behind that, or like, what, 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 what's your thoughts on the contract? Because they said like it's my life. I have to honor the contract. They're subservient because if they're not bound to a contract, they're just a massive bag of antlers roaming through the earth, <laughs> just just a tornado of antlers. Destroying everything, and if they don't have a contract, I'm sorry, if they don't I'm have a contract, I'm done. I'm done. everybody's got antlers <laughs> impaled the neck and the throat, and they're just dead. <laughs> sorry, what you're saying is that we're just doing a favor for everyone by giving her out, dude. It's a bad day without a contract. Sorry, you, you lost the law, though. Sorry, it's a con, it's a chondra contract. Okay, uh, okay, thank you. That's my theory, anyway. Yeah. Alondo, what about you? <laughs> all I can do is slow clap you, sir. That's all I can do. I have no energy to do anything other than slow clap you. Yes, uh, Will. A tornado of antlers. That's what happens. Will, my I, I can't. I cannot. I cannot put any bow better than what you said <laughs> on your statements, sir. Mystery Ooh. cup. Ooh, ah, man, no, I, I've got nothing more than that, man. <laughs> fatality. Uh, yeah, fatality. Absolutely. Fatality. I was done. Man, going through it. I had to mute the microphone. I wanted to hear him. You just heard me cackle. Oh, my. I'm like, I'm tearing over here. I'm, 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 you, you had me laughing so hard, dude. Uh, oh, yeah, really no. glad. <laughs> Seriously, I, I really had nothing more to think about when it came to the contract. Um, there's some things where when it when it comes to an alternate world or universe, there are immutable laws that we do not understand because they haven't been laid out for us. And so I don't know if this is an immutable law that is like part of the universe that they're in, or if we should suspect that there's like loopholes or whatever. Okay. And until we understand more about this universe, I really will assume it is one of these immutable laws. Did I become a uh, antler tornado? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Will wins. He wins today. Amber tornado. <laughs> I just want to see. I just want to see the the graphic of a tornado just throwing bags of antlers everywhere. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, that, yes, that's what yes, happens. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yes. Good deal. Like uh, so we, we, we that, uh, Lord Ruler was holding back. <laughs> yeah. Say again. Maybe that's the thing that uh, Lord Ruler was holding back this whole time. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Who knows? Maybe. Um, Maybe. Yeah. Well, again, too many questions there. I'm sure it's a Rappo situation, but um, mm -hmm. yeah, I, I don't really have much to really think about when it comes to this whole agreement. What I personally think, theory time, theory time, theory time. I think that the same way that then and the Obscura have beef is the same way that she kind of had mini beef with Sazed in the last book at the okay. beginning. Because they weren't, remember, until he came in and saved her, there was like a little beef going back and forth because she didn't like the way he talked to her. Mm -hmm. um, she didn't like the way he was telling her how to act and stuff like that. She was yeah. like, you're not my dad! That kind of thing. You know, the, mm -hmm. the impudent, you know, little yeah. thing. So I feel like there's some of that going on here uh, okay. between her and, you know, the bag of animals. Okay. <laughs> so in this chapter with, with Vincent, good, looks good. Let's go for a walk. See if we can catch up. Uh, yep. And they go to leave to go for a walk. And we end the chapter. Yeah. Taking the conjure out for a walk. Taking the dog out for a walk. We, hey, we need to go. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. 
That'll be interesting. Does she, does she carry little baggies when she goes and walks the car? Oh, oh no. <laughs> Something, so, look, we've already talked about excrement earlier. Now we're talking about conjurer excrement. Oh man, I I don't want to pick that one. No. <laughs> Sounds good. Um, because any what question? Happens, what happens to the bones of the previous entity that they ate? Raffo. <laughs> I mean, so I didn't think about that. Like what? Like excrement. obviously, yeah. I think a lot about excrement. So it's a good thing to think. I mean, that's normal. It's natural. Okay. I mean, look, look. There's metal excrement. Where does that go? Uh, there's antler excrement. Where does that go? Bone excrement. Where does that go? I feel like there's a lot of excrement not being mm-hmm. accounted for here, and we got to think about the laws of. What is it called transmutation? I believe it was mm-hmm. called. So, I mean, matter still has to exist in some form, right? Yeah, so it, the, the, it's the 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 the, ma- the mass energy equivalency. It's uh, exactly it's, thank yeah, you. Mass, mass it energy has to, equivalency. equivalency. So, yeah. it, if you have matter, it must either turn into energy? other matter or energy. energy. There's no, and that's just right. It has to be equal. In, it has to equal out. It's it like has a balance sheet. Exactly. To, you should be able to, to put those two things on a scale. <laughs> there should be. There you go. Thank equal. you. Thank you. It's called the laws of conservation. Thank and you, Zul. Yes. For <laughs> the laws of conservation. Yes, that's what it is. The that is from Isaac Newton, correct? Yes, right. I, I believe laws so. of conservation. Yeah, yeah. Um, is, this anyway. a, is this a common thing in like sci-fi fantasy reading? Since I'm new to this genre, or no? This usually, is just general human usually, physics. It's, like it's probably this, more common than you would expect. But it's not like a day with mm-hmm. If it's good, okay. um, if, if 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 the if the book is written well, it still is couched in the concepts that we are that accustomed physics to. Physics still apply, right? So Just, there are certain things that you can assume are um, uh, transfixed and carry over into the universe that they're writing for, mm-hmm. unless they make it very very clear at the beginning. It's like, well, there's magic. And spiders yeah. can fly, or something like that. But they make it usually is pretty yeah. upfront with that. And it's also the that. difference between like a hard magic system and a soft magic system. So yeah, like right. soft soft magic would be you can make up whatever you want, and physics don't no laws apply at all. Hard magic, you have laws based around. So Sanderson writes in hard magic. Everything's hard magic. So it's we haven't touched around. a lot on the the the, the counter effects of all these things. Like you're saying, excrements, right? And that's mm-hmm. one of them. So you're saying that could potentially come up? Potentially. I, I think so. <laughs> I, I fe- what? I feel, like, I feel like there's something there. What? <laughs> okay, I'm excited. I'm excited. But, like, what? Like, we're going to get into that level? That's a whole other level. Uh, we're going to get, yeah, into, yeah, a, a lot of levels. I can't wait. <laughs> well, if, it, if this huh. helps you at all, man, this is what got me into the idea of, and when I say excrement, by the way, I don't just mean like poop or something like right. that. One of the things that happens, if you, anybody who's ever gotten into like hard exercise will tell you that what happens when you actually burn the energy, like when you're exercising and running, and you think yeah. to yourself, oh, yeah, well, that mass has to go somewhere. That fat and stuff has to go somewhere. Yeah. It usually turns into carbon dioxide. Or acid build up in the muscles. Or acid. Well, see, acid build up in your muscles actually breaks down a muscle and then eventually turns into a form of basically gas that gets pushed back through your bloodstream and sent out through your lungs and you breathe it out. Mm-hmm. And so – most people think that when you lose weight, it's like you're losing weight because you're like you're pooping it out. No, most of the weight you lose, you're breathing it out. It's carbon dioxide. Really? Um, yeah. So wow. it's, it's it's the craziest concept. And so it when you really think about it, it's like, wait a minute. So fat is turning into gas, but that's how it works. You burn the energy and then the byproduct of that energy is carbon dioxide, which is why when I was like a, a really like prolific i won't say prolific that was a wrong term when i was running a lot i was like always wondering i was like why is it like i have to like i would monitor my breathing i would take four running steps breathing out and one running step to breathe in 
because that's how much carbon dioxide you're putting out. It's so mm-hmm. much more important to breathe out than just to breathe in because you know what? Uh, uh, I had a uh, my fourth grade teacher. Uh, I forget her name, but she we did PE and she would tell us when we're doing these runs around the baseball field. Yeah, breathing exercises. She say we're doing these runs. She would tell me because I was a little chubby little kid back in the day. Back then, she would say breathing. You need to do four breaths out, one breath in. That's exactly and I was always why. Like, why. But I would do it and it worked. And I was like, that actually like helps. And that's like, why. Yep. So, what? so you get into these <laughs> ideas. So once you start learning that stuff, you're like, holy cow. So these, is there a book on this? I need to read a book on this. <laughs> yeah, there's so much. Oh my god, there's I so much science. material. Dude, dude, Will, I, I'll, I'll text you. I'll text stuff. you on the side. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Anyway, but that's the reason why I this whole idea of allomancy. I feel like there's more to this when it comes to this excrement, blah 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 thing than I think there is. And then the mm-hmm. fact that you guys are saying Rafo makes me feel like I'm touching a nerve that's important. Um, yeah. yeah. Like but so I, close, but so far away at the same time. It's great. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful great, thing we're right. at. And, and great. And I'm, I'm, I'm happy to be wrong, but I just don't want to feel like I'm going off on like a really crazy tangent. It sure. sounds like I might be no, no, no. kind of getting into something that might be yeah. transitionally important. So. Yeah. Good. Love it. Great. Awesome. Ipa, any final things for them? Before? Yes, please. Uh, no, I, I had a little list of things that we basically ate each one of them. So okay. uh, I didn't know about the whole exhaling your fat away. So that's cool. Yeah, that that's makes cool. sense. Yeah. <laughs> They're made of, made of, mainly made of carbon. So it makes so, sense. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah. It is insane. Yeah. 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 Good deal. I see the light coming up behind you, Ipa. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh my god! god. Yeah. <laughs> nice, uh, Will. I didn't even see that. Thank you. Yeah, five thirty a.m. It's the it's the Nordic summer, like this is the Nordic summer. Like two hours dark, and then it's and it's leaving again. Hey, by the way, am I gonna freeze my balls off when I get there in October? <laughs> um, how far south do you live? Uh, we're gonna. Uh, so we're actually going up to uh, Tromso in Norway, which I know yeah. is gonna be crazy cold. But then we're gonna come down to Helsinki. So. Yeah, well, I mean, I would say that it's not cold because I live there, but might be around zero Celsius, probably not below it. Might where will be above it. it be so right at freezing. So, okay, yeah. I can deal with that. Maybe. Right. It's it's going to be dark and gray and probably very wet, so enjoy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why anyone would, would, come to hit, would want to come here during October, but... Uh, I'm going to... Quote the office and say that's what she said. (laughs) 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 So, uh, Ipa, thank you so much for coming on. Uh, We appreciate it. Thank you so much, man. Pretty early morning for you. Yeah, yes, yes. awesome. Um, Before we go, favorite character? Clubs all day. Clubs. (laughs) Mr. Grumpy, Uncle Grumpy. I love him, Uncle Grumps. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to go with Seiza just because I couldn't remember who my original thought. I had a thought when I was reading it. I can't remember. But Dude, Seiza, Will, uh, do not deviate, man. That's yeah. your boy, boy Seiza. Stick when all us fellas go with Seiza, like, That's yeah. right. I mean, it was really cool the, the role that he played in that Absolutely. first short chapter. Yeah. Um, the man of hope, the man of, of, spreading the good word and trying to keep the people happy that's a that's a big task so. and he's just honorable that's an honorable dude love him yeah. he's a good yes. dude he's yeah. really tall and skinny too kind of weird looking which i love <laughs> yeah <laughs> i'm gonna go with the chandra yeah, yeah, that's, nice. a good that's, good. A good that's a good one yes that's a good Absolutely. one <laughs> the chandra Epo, what about you favorite oh, character it says it like oh, is, nice! Is another yeah. 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 It, always it says it. Sometimes maybe I might be Kale, depending what's going on. But usually it says it. It's just it's nice. Okay. Yeah. okay. Well cool. done. Well done. Club says it. Well, I know this is going to be a doozy for you guys, but next week we're going to be doing five chapters. Um, okay. Yeah, we're yeah. going to finish part one. They're short chapters, and that's the reason why I'm lumping them all together. So it's I assume through, they must be. 7 through 11, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, it's 5. Um, yeah, so 7 through 11, it finishes up part part 1. 
Um, and, and actually, it, when you look at how much actually of the book that actually is, it's not more than what we have been reading. It's just these are really short chapters. We so. trust you. We trust I'm you. excited. Yeah. I don't have people in town this weekend, so, so I got plenty five. of time. Five. Five chapters. Can I, can I hype up these chapters a little bit? Just a little bit. What is Just that? a little bit. Can I hype these chapters up? Oh, bit? yeah. You can go oh, for it. Yeah. Cool. So cool. when I heard which chapters I'm going to be in, like I went and checked, like, okay, which chapters these are. And I assumed that the next episode would be another three. And I was like, damn it. I wish I was in those next three chapters. <laughs> oh, okay, no. Seven through nine. <laughs> so... Well, yeah. you'll okay. see why. Okay. You'll, you'll see, see why. why. Yeah. Oh, I was going to say, now. if yes. there's five lumped in together, that must mean they're good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They're good chapters. They're good yeah. chapters. Good. Oh, Great. There's, there's good, good stuff going on here. Yeah. So, right. Um, so, yeah. Um, how we can be found is at thecosmereads.com. Uh, you can find links to everything, such as our Discord, which is the Will Reads Discord. You can find links to our social media. Uh, I think it only has links to Twitter right now. Even though we do have Facebook, I did make a post on there um, just saying, hey, it's my first post. post. Uh, you mean X, um, sir, not Twitter. Oh, yeah, X. Yeah, we're on X. Um, yeah, that's all we are right now. I mean, I'll probably add more stuff. Um, I, I am doing some Cosmic content on the other stuff through the Will Reads, but I'll probably eventually create the Cosmic Reads stuff too, which is I haven't, I haven't gotten around to it. Like I said, I've been busy. But uh, we'll get on more things. We do have merch, though, uh, and we do have more merchandise coming. I know we, we, we previewed a design a while back. We're still finalizing the design for the Scott Stink shirt, but that's coming soon. Ooh, Scott Stink. Scott Stink stuff is yes. coming. Um, so we're finalizing that design and then um, sending it over to our merch to be put on everything. So um, that will be soonish. When I say soonish, it might be a week or three months, uh, but it's coming. Um, and uh, obviously, support us that way. Support us by listening. Um, also, support us just by um, uh, uh, our Patreon. Yeah, we have that too. So uh, check that out. If you want these guys to do live reactions to certain chapters, there's a level of Patreon for that. Um, so until we get that, we're not doing live reactions, but uh, we will if you guys decide. Do that's this. a worthy um, investment yeah it is a yes, worthy yes. investment yeah because then we can pick out and uh and, and do some do some some live reactions cool. which will be fun um yeah uh and yeah share it too yeah share, share this with everyone you know uh if, mm -hmm. you, if you're enjoying cosmic content you want more of this uh this is really getting fun now uh, i'm really enjoying this every sunday night so um guys uh keep on uh keep doing what you're doing will and alondo and guys keep listening and let us know what you think so that's all I got for this week. So until next time, guys. Stop.